if you are in the spirit to remain so if you are outside the spirit we ask you to come into it because what we are preaching from here is a gospel of redemption as directed by Chikukika Biyama himself in heaven and this very gospel we must preach it therefore we must pray we give thanks unto thee, O Elohim, for there is none like thee. There can never be any like thee. You are the beginning and the end. You are the Alpha and the Omega. Our lives are in the palm of your hands. We commit all that we are unto thee. We have come as the ancients did before us as our ancestors did before we came to offer praise and adoration unto your holy name and no other for we do not worship any idol we do not worship anything born of a human being we do not worship anything carved out of a tree we do not bow down before anything molded with the hands of men it's only thee that we worship that is why we have come this very evening on this hallowed platform that you yourself created to offer you unadulterated praise and to hand over to thee all that we can ever become because Biafra is yours this very family of IPOB you molded yourself you decreed that IPOB must come and now that we have come that we may worship thee Elohim please accept our offering of praise and sacrifice unto your holy name because there is no other like thee we will continue to adore thee we will continue to worship thee and as i said before and i will reiterate as we pray unto thee that biafra is your possession we will sacrifice biafra unto thee that you may guide us in all that we do you is only you that sees the hearts of men if there is anything that we are hiding if there is anything that we have concealed from our people oh elohim you will judge us very harshly but if our hands are clean our hearts very pure you will bless ipob that you will bless me that you will bless my family because it's a promise from you all our hope and our trust is upon thee may your name be glorified may you be exalted may you o elohim be praised now and forevermore we pray he said he said he said radio station with more you are listening to the radio station you are listening to this is radio piafra one more time i say welcome to another edition live broadcast from new york city under the auspices of our mother station radio biafra london our leader's name is mazin namdekano we are here still talking about our freedom so this morning i'm going to start with a special announcement by our head of the department of state the us that came in yesterday it's a repeat broadcast so please listen to it before we proceed let us hear what he has to tell us good afternoon good morning and good night to you great bear friends wherever you may be depending on your time zone at this very hour my name is mazi chika edosian I come from Ihe Oma. Ihe Oma is in Biafra land. And by the grace of Elohim Chukwokika Biafra Premier, I serve the indigenous people of Biafra in the Directorate of State as the head of directorate. Biafrans, first of all, let me bring greetings from the leader of this great movement, Onyen Dumazenam Dekano, to the IPOB family worldwide. Of course, it is in the public domain that after some usual game of the zoo, the, our council, the lawyers of the IPOB, we are finally granted access to see our leader. And from that, that's it. He sends his regards to the Biafran family worldwide. 
And of course, we know that as he told us, that in this struggle that we have embarked upon, he will not disappoint their friends. And it is only their friends that may disappoint him, but I can assure you that this great family would not disappoint when the can. It is important that I speak to brothers this evening on very, very important issues. The first of which is the ghost town complete lockdown of Biafra land, which will commence on the 9th of this month, August 2021. You know, people have been expressing one view or the other, or one concern or the other. But I want to let people to understand that the Biafran people, the RQB family worldwide, and those of us in the homeland of Biafra, we are ready to do anything that humanity can do that is humanly possible as a sacrifice to ensure that Oyendo, the leader of this movement, is released unconditionally and sooner than later. And our civic action of locking down Biafra land on a weekly basis, once a week, on Mondays, in conjunction with the protests still going on around the world, in addition to our forays in the diplomatic arena, and of course, on the legal battlefield, we are prepared to give anything that can be given. We are prepared to do anything that can be done. We are prepared to make the sacrifices that should be made for our leader, Oyen Dumaznan, to rejoin us very soon. Therefore, those who are expressing concerns what they should be focusing on and what they should be directing their energies upon is to join hands with this great family, RQB Worldwide, to make sure that Oyendu is unconditionally released and to the politicians in Biafra land the governors especially, those of them that one way or the other has soiled their hands in this criminal, extraordinary rendition of Oyendu from Kenya to Nigeria. My advice to them this night is that they must omit what they have made. And what do I mean? They should know the way they contributed money, the way they gathered themselves together and brought good sums of money to commit this crime. That is the same way they must, they must, they have no choice. They must gather again, contribute money and, re and extraordinary rendition our leader back from from back from Nigeria to Kenya where they they, they, they they did this crime in the first place. Bearing which our actions will continue until Oyendu regains his freedom and joins this family once again. So therefore the governors and politicians in Biafalan, your work is simple. Don't come to us and start telling us um, 
you know, giving us uh, mathematical and economic uh, figures. The Biafran people are not interested in that. What they are interested in is to have their leader back with us. What we are interested in is to have our leader back with us. And that must be done expeditiously and without any delay. It is not enough for us that our, of course we are we are we are, we are happy that the lawyers were, were able to see him and could confirm uh, that um, he is relatively well health wise but that is not what interests us we are not interested in hearing from our lawyers that only is well or not what the Biafran family is interested in is a, an unconditional release of Onyindu sooner than later. And like I said, if we do not, if he is not released on or before the 8th of August, our action will continue on all fronts. And I mean on all fronts. That, therefore, I am mobilizing the Biafran family in Biafran land that the 9th of August is a date that we have to meet with history. Now, the second matter that I need to talk about and which concerns not just the the, the Akubi family, but it relates to a great extent to anybody or everyone that has been saddled with any form of responsibility as a principal officer. From the least unit to our zones, from the zones to states, from states to nations, and from nations to continents. We have principal servants who have responsibility of all these different structures that we have in IPOB. It is not a new and all of us understand what we say or what we mean when we say chain of command. You report to the next officer above you. And it goes up to that, to the top. And stops at the table of Onyan Dumazin Amrikano, the supreme leader of this very great movement. Why am I talking about chain of command this evening? Ordinarily, I do not come on air or come on social media to engage in what Oyendo will call tittle tattle. I do not do that. But it has become very important, very essential that we put a stop to some of the irrelevant and unnecessary distractions that we are getting online and of course sometimes on our radio our principal servants are clear and known anybody who has the responsibility as a principal officer they are known and if you're a coordinator of whatever form or in whichever form, you do not receive instruction from any person apart from those in that coordinator's hierarchy. A coordinator, you do not take instructions from the finance department. A coordinator, you do not take instructions from the media department. A coordinator, you do not take instructions from the legal department. 
and all the other departments that we may have. And we have seen with our time that some principal servants tend to go beyond their area of authority and jurisdiction and begin to give instructions to coordinators which they do not have that mandate to do. I'm hoping that tonight will be the last time I will talk or speak on this issue. If you are in any doubt, go and take up your code of conduct and study it again. Study it again and make sure it stays. That will help you to work efficiently and effectively. That will, that will help you to avoid distractions. That will help you to focus on the area that you are supposed to focus. I will not finish this very number two topic without mentioning that our brother, Mazda Kinsley Kano, is a Biafran. And of course, he has, as a Biafran, as IPOB family member, he has to make his views known. But Mazda Kinsley Kano does not have the authority to issue instructions to IPOB principal servants. You, who is a principal servant that is taking instructions from outside of the structure, you have yourself to blame. You will have yourself to blame. If after tonight that rubbish continues again, Mazi Kensley can We had an account opened in the United States of America by the leader of this movement and we gave it the name ESN account. Of course, that's not the name it was written, but we know when, when we say it is an account for ESN, we know what that means. That simply means that funds raised on behalf of the ESN contribution on behalf of the ESN goes into that account. Of course, we also have um, another account here in, in, in uh, Italy that was also meant for Europeans to be pulling their ESN funds together. But this does not in any way detract from the fact that we have a worldwide ESN account. And when this account was shut down as a result of what has transpired, a new account has been opened. And that new account will serve the same purpose as the one that was closed. Meaning, this new account will be an account for ESN contributions, ESN fundraisings all over the world. If you raise funds in the name of ESN, Eastern State Christian Network, you have to send that money to this new account. I'll give you the name, I'll give you the particulars in a moment. And anybody who wishes or desires to support the ESN that are on the ground, in the bushes, making sure that our forests are safe for our mothers, making sure that our forests are safe for our fathers and our relatives to go and do their usual farm work. 
This account is there to provide them every logistics that they will require to carry out their functions and duties effectively. Therefore, all the controversy about account must cease tonight. And the new account for ESN goes as follows. I'm going to rush through this, but the information regarding this account is already in the possession of every continental rep, and all our continental rep must ensure that this account is also made available to where we have regional reps. This account must be made available to them and the regional reps in turn and of course continental reps where we don't have regions will ensure that these accounts are made available to their national coordinators and the national coordinators will disseminate this account down to the family to the last man to the last unit and people can begin from now from this moment to pay in their ESL support funds into that account if you have raised funds and you are holding it for ESN please you have the directive this very moment to make sure that that fund is transmitted or transferred into the new ESN account and the account name is this Umu Eri Arodi Areli in USA Corporation once again the name of the account is Umu Eri Arodi Areli in USA Corporation this account is domiciled with the Bank of America and the account number goes this way. Seven 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 nine nine one again four four six zero four eight seven 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 nine nine one. The routing number goes this way zero five two zero zero one six three three. Zero five two zero zero one six three three. This is the routing number, and you can pay as well or make your contributions through Zelle. And the Zelle email address is umutuku five six seven at gmail dot com. You can as well make your contributions by Zelle and the Zelle email address is umuchuku567 at gmail.com Additionally, people can make their contributions if they go to IPOB in USA.org website. That is our official website in USA. If you go there, you will see the donation buttons and you can make your donation. And 
for those outside of USA, there will be a need for SWIFT, SWIFT code, a code when you are transferring funds from outside of the United States into the United States. There will be a SWIFT code. And that SWIFT, SWIFT code is as well also available. So um, all this information that I have set out this, this very moment, they contain in the information or the notice that your coordinators will make available to your friends worldwide. And I do not hope that we will be talking about issue of ESN fund going forward because for me, that is quite unnecessary. I, I am, I am, to some extent, disappointed that people have been regurgitating this matter on and on and on and again, and um, creating the impression, creating the impression that we are focused on ESN fund when our leader is languishing in the hands of the enemy. That actually must not be the case, and that is not the case. Therefore, anyone, 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 I repeat, who begins or comes after tonight to talk about whether this account is authentic or not, then ask that person what his or her interest is. Everyone must focus on the duties assigned to them. Be on your goalpost and carry out your functions and leave the rest for those who has that mandate to carry them out. This information I am giving this night is a directive, a directive as if, mind my word, as if this directive is coming from Oyendu, that is the way every one of us must. If you are an IPOB family member, your principal officer, that is the way all of us must adhere to this very instruction tonight. Because going forward, there will be no excuses. There will be no excuses. And we must refocus our energy. We must recommit ourselves to our objective. Our objective has not changed. The long-term objective has not changed. It will not change until we have achieved that objective. Our short and immediate term objective at this moment is nothing else than that the leader of this great movement, Oyendu Mazinam de Kano, is released unconditionally because he has committed no crime. Self-determination or the call for self-determination or the agitation for self-determination is not a crime. And to who? The call for referendum is not a crime. It is a right. I, 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 I understand that the British government, they said they will not, they will not, they said, um, go against the will of the Scottish people if they decide to go for a second referendum. If they decide, they said, now, millions of Biafrans are calling for a referendum, for us to make a decision on how we must govern ourselves, for us to make a decision in respect to our social, political, economic, and cultural way of life.
and values. And we are being massacred. The second genocide is ongoing in our land. I understand as well um, that the new in thing now is the unknown soldiers turning into unknown government. They want to create an unexisting confusion in our land. But we are there. We are waiting for them. The Biafran people are waiting for them. If they know what is good for them, they must release Oyendu. If not, our people are getting impatient. All right, thank you very much. That was our DOS head, head of uh, Department of State on Indigenous People of Biafra. That's a let broadcast that he did yesterday. Just to repeat for all of us who did not listen to it, I think eventually to have the opportunity to listen. And uh, we've done that. Everything has been very clear. We should focus on what we are doing the ninth as Monday. Very important. <clears throat> I'm reading all over the Facebook. Uh, people are telling us, oh, this is going to impact our people and things like These people are not our friends. Nobody tells us what to do anyway. Or or whatever you call yourself, that's you are on your own. Do what say whatever you never represented us in any way, shape or form. So we are doing what we think we have to do because if you have if you have common sense i mean what they call common sense which is not very common uh you have to understand that uh it's not uh, it, when you want to attack the rich man attack his pocket make sure he doesn't have any money in his pocket what we are doing is economic you know calm down you know block down that is the uh, disobedience so i know the people that are worried and not even on his and evil. Most of them are people who think that they have power. So what they are trying to do now is to show off. You know, you know, these people. As soon as they give this instruction and they take it, it means I'm not relevant anymore. Of course, you have never been relevant. You know that. You have never been. Not, not, not this time around. These are children. Are they know their rights? They know what they are supposed to do. They know what is good for them, and that is what they are going to do. So Monday, everybody have to sit down at home. From Monday on, unless our leader is released before that date, that's that's the announcement. If you don't release him, there is no way we are going to give up. Every Monday it will continue, and we're going to extend it beyond that. I'm telling you, I'm, I don't know what's going to be the next, but trust me, if that is not effective, we're really going to make it effective. If a baby says mama will not sleep and cries all night, mama is going to. <laughs> Mama is going to be awake, but the baby too will be awake. That's the point. All right, I have a few announcements to make. It's a mega rally, mega rally, mega rally coming in. This is a mega large one, the largest of ever. The Biafran women and lovers of freedom all over the world, in a repeat of the Bia women protests of 1929, be having a mega rally in London. That's the that's the venue. London is the venue in August. The date will be August 25th to 27th. 25th, 26th, 27th. Three days. Mega rally in London. And the time there will be 10 a.m. in the morning. Prompt as their own over there. But here in the USA, it's going to be like 6 p.m. Eastern time, USA time. I'm trying to see if I can take part in that. Honestly, I would very much want to. And um, it says here, the free... Mazin Namdekano now, that's the tag. And uh, conduct referendum now, free Biafra now. Don't forget, if you are ready, please make sure you get your visa ready. Because London, London, here we come for the rally. Mass rally. We will be organized by the women. And, and also, there is uh, another meeting here that is coming in. Let me see. IPOB women and all IPOB family and Biafra is inviting you to a scheduled Zoom meeting. A Zoom meeting is coming, very important meeting on August the 8th. That is the day before we start the uh, sit at home. A day that's August 8th should be Friday, I think. So, yes, I mean, it should be just should be Sunday, isn't it? Because I think 9th is Monday, so it should be. Uh, and uh, the time will be 
um, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. That's the U.S., United States, and Canada. And uh, the ID number for the meeting, take your pen and paper, I'll read it out for you. The meeting ID is 871-5821. Zero one seven six. I repeat. Meeting ID eight seven one five eight two one zero one seven six, and the passcode be four two three two two four four two three two two four. Get ready for that. That meeting is very, very important. For those of you, there are other informations out there. We're still going to pass them around. But uh, the major thing that you need is the ID and the passcode. There are other ways you can call. Just go to Zoom. Uh, join a meeting. And you have the ID. meeting ID is there for you. 871-5821-0176. And passcode is 423-224. 423-224. We are getting ready. The London... Here we come. The rally, the mass rally in London. Please, me, if you can afford it, take a trip. Get your visa, get yourself ready. Because uh, it looks like uh, the, the COVID thing will be, released, will be released, I think, on the 19th. So we still, we're still good. So because of uh, COVID, you know, it wasn't uh, possible for some people to go. But this time, because uh, it's going to be lifted on the 19th, it'll be easier. So have to take part in it. I'm going to take a short recess and I'll come back and stay together. Stay tuned. Don't go away. All right. I'm going to some JT. I know things are hard for everybody. And uh, it will get better, honestly. I assure you that. All right. Um, um, in case of an ESN contribution, donation, I'm not been able to get the flyer about the new account. But the one I'm very positive about is that if you go to www ipob in usa dot org forward slash donate you'll be able to make a contribution um the other account i'll be able to i'll be able to read them out when i get the complete information so that i don't i don't i don't miss words you see what our our, our head of uh, dos have just said is something that i think that's what it's ex I've been expecting that to be honest with you because this embarrassment of talking about money over over issues like this <clears throat> money 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 is important my brother but it's not the uh, it shouldn't be the focal point there are people whose job it is to take care of this money so I don't I don't really see the sense if it makes any sense coming to the radio to announce issues like that it doesn't concern the chinese man who's listening to us now that is concerned the japanese the world is listening to us and we should be focused on what we are doing our parliament our struggle is freedom freedom that's what we're talking about our leader is incarcerated today but you know something god bless the world the prayer is working i am sure that our leader is fine and i'm very very positive about it there is nothing anybody can do to kill that man. He is there. We are riding higher and higher and higher. Very soon he will join us. Chukwo Kikabiyama knows it. Keep on doing your psalm prayer. That is ordered you to do. It is going to work out. It, everything will be fine. The process that we are going through is a process. It's a process where we try to transform the crude oil and make it very, very useful. Turn it to petrol. Turn it to gas. Turn it to you know equipment something you can that can be useful nothing easy nothing good comes easy let me use that word you see we have to go through this and our leader is very very prepared for it the, the god that gave him the power the right to do what he is doing will protect him will guide him like i said my condolence and my consolation from the beginning of this whole thing is that when people come to me and they start talking and i keep reminding them one thing I said, you don't, you people seem to forget that this is a man that was incarcerated for two years for doing nothing. Inside Kujie prison, they tried to tear gas him, he didn't die. He came out, they went to kill him in his house, he didn't die. He disappeared for 13 months and showed up in Israel. Woo, woo, woo. Nobody's thinking about that. So why do you think that they are going to just get rid of him so easily? No. He has a mission. When this mission is done, he will go like everybody else. There's nobody who will not die. The point is that what what's the legacy that you've left behind? That's the important thing. Because if you remain the way you are, 
and die the way you are without repenting or without i wouldn't use the word repentance because when i start talking repentance it, look, it looks like i'm going to the church no what i'm trying to say is what you leave behind namdekano is he, he, that name will never ever disappear honestly ever 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 it is odd ad infinitum the world is going to remain in this world so no matter what happens people like that what dies is their body their spirit what they represent never ever dies i used to say it even with musicians i i, I use musicians are very good analogy because every day i go i listen i hear rex lawson singing my dear brothers rex lawson died many years ago but you know something his voice is still there we're still hearing him because he left something footprint in the sands of time that's what he has left so if you sit down there and think that all you can do is what you can grab now and you finish it now the day you die you go look at most politicians that we ever had in nigeria where is their family some of them have so disappeared that they don't even look like and it's even worse in a zoo where there is no history so if nobody writes about you you are forgotten i'm telling the truth you'll be forgotten completely but that's not the issue the point i'm trying to make is that be part of what we are doing so that your children will not spit on your grave my young niece told me that my nephew actually he said uncle your two are doing we are following what you're doing you're doing very well but you know something you are supposed to do this because if you don't do it now and you leave it for us we're going to spit on your grave that's something so join what we are doing forget about those who are telling you uh, uh, uh lockdown on monday is going to kill you it's not going to kill anybody nobody ever dies for not for observing one day come on guys those people are not interested in what we are doing there are people that are scared that we are getting we are being successful in what we are doing that we are following instruction it gives keeps them very very uncomfortable why do you think the other was reacted when we had sit at home the first sit at home sent them panicking they immediately had a meeting oh giving ibos uh, two days or whatever months to leave because they feel now wait a minute so these people can now somebody can sit down somewhere and give instruction and they obey it that's dangerous for us but if they say it and you all go about your normal business ah they will continue where they are and say forget about them they won't do anything so to her with all those people who think that we are eh, the, the, one day will impact your people what do you mean impact impact you on what COVID 19 you were made to sit at home what did you do did you die for nothing they they, 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 they blow idiots they put you at home and you stay at home and they're, they're taking the the palliatives that they gave you they share it to themselves and you come out today we are saying sit at home just to get your freedom and you're complaining to her with the honey and evil to her you know about come let them go there and kill themselves no interested if you don't know what to say just shut up you have never been part of what we are doing you've never supported what we are doing so all of a sudden now you are becoming an advisor <laughs> we know more than that we are much 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 better than that i picked up a news at T tvs is it tvc i think it's a foreign uh, foreign um a station that that was trying to broadcast our issue bring it up let me see if it has, it has to do with an african station i'm not really sure of the name of this station but i i will find it out in the Those end from you. cameroon indicate english-speaking separatist militias have joined forces with their nigerian counterparts a development that has led to fears of an acceleration in violence yes. the Biafran secessionist and the ambazonian defense force in southwestern cameroon share a common border and a joint purpose to establish their own states they say they are already sharing weapons dw reporter blazer young reports from douala almost three quarters of a million people have been displaced by the conflict mba doris is one of them she says government soldiers accuse her entire village of supporting the separatists and touch their homes has included for the last four years she has been staying with her children at this rundown property in the town of kumba they burned down the entire village and we hid out in the forest but it was full of mosquitoes we didn't have much to eat and we only had dirty water to drink i made up my mind to leave and seek refuge in the city since the start of 2017 cameron's government has deployed thousands of troops to push back anglo 
francophone separatists. The militias are fighting to create a breakaway state they call Ambazodia, and they are looking for new ways to extend their influence. In April this year, a faction of the secessionist movement announced a cross-border partnership with Nigerian separatist group, the indigenous people of Biafra. About the alliance between the governing council military wing, the ADF, and the IPOD, the indigenous people of Biafra, it has given the Ambazonia Defense Forces unprecedented access to unlimited supply of ammunition from the black market within the Nigerian area. And it has also allowed our forces and both the forces of the Eastern Security Network safe head heavens across the border. DW News Africa contacted the Cameroonian army. A military spokesman declined to comment. In Camp Cabin works for a local human rights organization. They have been documenting the conflict in Cameroon. He says attacks from separatists have increased since their partnership with the Biafrans. Recently we have seen, after the collaboration, how the separatist fighters have uh, grown from strength to strength. They have been a wide use of improvised explosive devices on the side of the separatists and this has led to the killing of so many defense and security forces as compared to the previous years. This intensification is bad news for Doris. She says she would love to return to her village, but she can't because of the ongoing fighting. The alliance between Anglophone separatists and the Biafrans is only expected to further worsen the conflict in the Cameroonian side. So Doris won't be going back home anytime soon. All right, thank you very much. That was uh, the Cameroon, I think, a Cameroon station that was reporting that. All right, uh, what we're going to say and what I'm going to say here is to remind you, I have a flyer here about the mega rally that is coming up in London. Please make sure that you take part in it. I uh, hope they have spread out this. Uh, there's a very big uh, flyer here that talks about it. The date is August 25th, 26th, and 27th. I'm, uh, I've seen the uh, women, the organizers. To send down our information so we can put them into jingle for or for you to get yourself ready to go to london i'll try to i'll try to i'm not making any serious promise but i i hope so if i can find time i'll be join them there even if it's only for a day and that would be very nice these are women from all over the world not to, just being organized by the women here in the united states of america but uh it's it engulfs the entire world those in biafra land that wish to take part in that rally the women especially they will go there it's going to be a mega rally it's going to be a very very big thing quite big honestly we want to share the world the world when they spread you know the women the women are very strong in 1929 they did something in Aba. they called the Aba women riot that's what they, the white man called it Margaret Ekbo and the rest of them were there and uh, they really did something wonderful about it had to do with taxes i think women were being taxed or something i don't know I, I don't really i'm not very good at that history but i know that there was a woman women riot in abba whatever was a curse or whatever they at least they achieved something so that's the way we are going to go to london august 25th 26 27th make sure that if you want to join them please start making your preparation right now because uh, you will need a visa to do all that so you need to get yourself ready if you can afford to go there please do i'm reading something this morning that says police commissioner uh, i mean police service commission uh, finds it strange that the u.s court could order uh, the arrest of a nigerian living in nigeria you bloody idiots you people think that the world is like you you went to kenya and kidnapped a british citizen illegally and you think U.S. I just hope you will refuse to send these guys so that U.S. will clamp down on you guys, because we've been saying that this is a terrorist administration, a terrorist government. They are outlawed government in Nigeria. There's no government anyway. But what they have there is just a group of terrorists that put themselves together and call themselves uh, leaders. They're talking about indictment. The man is a thief. He should go there and answer his case. Stop case closed. Let's stop fooling ourselves. <laughs> they, they, yesterday I listened to Fala he was talking about Fela. Fela said if the word fraud was not an English word, then it means that the Uibo is innocent. So if if the native the fraud now is their language, so it means there are thieves there. You know, the man who do business or go what about one chance? So there's nothing he can do. You lift your hand, go there, surrender yourself. 
go in there and sing like us puppy maybe they can give you three years uh -huh. before then but if you stay in nigeria those same people those people that are now saying why why would the police arrest they are all scared and when they are feared don't reach a point they will kill you the man they will they will, they will, they will, they will assassinate you because they know that you going to america means they, 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 they might risk going to jail themselves so let's 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 stop this distraction he is going to go to jail he's going to go there and report america is not going to back back down the fbi has done their investigation and when their investigation they, they are not like you that arrests before investigation they are they investigate and arrest uh -huh, there are two things if they investigate and they find out that there's nothing they will believe me they won't come for you they'll just wave with the with the, the back of their hand but if they can pick you up if they can say they're arresting you if you're indicted you're already quarter to guilt i'm telling you the truth so let's stop fooling ourselves and, and trying to be i heard the man had been fired that's not enough nigeria <laughs> fired the next you there and i had disappeared <laughs> but this one passed pass by because this is this oh, is the blood of innocent you know when you do 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 the day you touch they touch not my anointed they think that when they say touch not my anointed you're talking about the pastors no most of the pastors are they are not anointed there are people walking the street there is even a beggar in the street somebody whose life is demented when you look at him you think he says but when you look at him and see what he is carrying on the inside you will know that those are the people who say when you touch them you will touch the anointed and whatever follows them will follow you I'm not, I'm not, I'm not mixing words in what I'm saying. All right, let us have a little conversation this morning. But please, if you call, make sure that you stick to the points that you're talking about. Be very careful what you say because uh, I have been, I've now trained myself to shut down some people when you start going up, up outside what you are supposed to talk about because this is part of what our our GOS was trying to say today stick to what you want to say stick to your office make sure that you don't start giving orders where you are not supposed to go we have more pressing problem don't come here to criticize or cause or you know abuse somebody that is not doing he's not working the way you expect him to nobody is perfect we are all learning on the job so we have to keep learning i have a call the first caller today comes on straight line Please tell us your yeah, name and where you are calling from. Thank you. Okay, I've ever blessed you and bless the whole principal of the Sabbath baby. Yeah. I am Mazit in the Obiuku. I'm from Abadan Wangale local government. I'm not privileged. They are land. I'm calling from my location. Mazi, eh, concerning your topic, I don't care to know what Abba care or whatever. But what I am concerned is night. People who are complaining is a freak in our midst. Yeah. Only sacrifice one day. People are. As I say that we are in the stage of that time. Israelites are begin to act in Egypt. Some so called Moses, you are a wicked man. Why are you? Why are you bring us out from Egypt to uh, leave us where we are eating cucumber and onions? Yes. That's the stage where we are entering now. That's right. And everybody should be prepared. Our director, our director, um, director of state, have said this. I made this clear. This stage is they said people are going to murmur. But after your mama is not going to is not going to bring us back to mm -hmm. Egypt. So then I could not hire as well to sit at home now. You are a foolish man because you are not for freedom. Because you could get you in the boat now. I will hear you are the ring goer. Any again, not from Monday this thing kind of to Sunday. God take what you eat. You know, then I complain. When you see a man waving for a man, this man has been there suffering for us. He's a king. He's a prince. Leave the throne of his father. Leave everything. He's a well-educated, well-sound, well-refined man suffering for 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 idiot like us. Some people are, are, are staying there in their comfort zone and talking rubbish. Uh, IPV should we go back? Uh, rethink, rethink because you are a woman. You you do what is right. So we go on and on and Anybody in the country is watching us. Don't be bothered by what is going on. Because it's what it's over. 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 It's
go and why you not contribute to nothing nothing don't sit one day for 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 honor your 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 hero your hero no na sell na e mare go no e na complain at ya so bu ko no unu no at ya e ku gbe monday bu monday yes onye tun na ngo adire ya pia na ya nka bu nka na na ana ku eri onye tun ko ha na ze ndi bo disi vo ya ha disi vo ya e to kwa ka e free for governors or cutting governors now cutting pastors anywhere in the land you see vogue that is your cup of tea from a solid cup my side peter may elohim bless you god bless you bless you sir thank you so much you said it all that's exactly what we're talking about this morning monday when you see all day i'm i'm just in a grad area there and i'm not going to be because uh, you cannot just sit down there and tell us what to do we are IPOB. We know what we want. The indigenous people of Biafra. That's what we are. We know what we want, and that's what we're going to get. We're going to. Can you come on this also? There will come a time when other things will follow. Let them sit down there and think that we're going to just uh, sit down there and let our leader be uh, incarcerated and left to, to to die there in jail. It's not going to happen. It is definitely not going to happen. I have another call. Let me take this one. Uh, caller. Um, straight line. Good morning. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Hello, Lord. Shalom. Dear, well, welcome to the program. Oh, yeah, money. Good long time, no see. Yeah, now, yeah, my welcome to the program, sir. Mm, I know you have been on the ground. I'm a bumper. I didn't see the key. I'm a girl for my. 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 Even uh, last Sunday, it's mm, very good Everybody was like, "What is happening?" So I have another lady. Why am I the night? Yes. Half lie, Mazi. Half Mazi. Oh, Mazi. I think so. Anybody know the lady? Like anybody know? I must go. My police man, they answer it. Oh, I'm not getting to know that day. Oh, I'm not going to be a joke. I come out with the So because that was not you're not going to buy. You're not buying the lady. Oh, you're not doing it. You're not going to the lady. Oh, you're not business that day. Mazi shalom. Shalom. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for calling. This is Radio Biafra. We are still taking calls. You know, ironically, that <laughs> asking that this Mazi's issue is a shocker for me too because back home at May, there are people who never talk about IPOB. Day. I never hear them say anything. But my sister called me. My younger sister called me and said, Bro, what's going on? Say about what? That she has not eaten in two days because uh, she's worried about Nam the can it's all like be work and kaga says I know what eat your food because eh, so that you don't you don't get sick. Just make sure you take care of yourself. Our leader is alive and well. Chukuoki Kabiyama is in control. These are people that under normal circumstances you think they are not they're not understanding what is going on. That is why Nja say don't even worry about anybody because there are people out there who really I'm more Biafran than both of us, than all of us, honestly. Caller, good morning. I have a call coming in on a private line of signal. I mean, a private line on WhatsApp. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Good morning from here. All right, he's just trying to reconnect. Unfortunately, that line is not good. You know, sometimes you guys, you use the WhatsApp line. I keep saying it. If you don't, if you take this line that is, uh, people are calling there, they disrupt your call. All right, I have a call on straight line. Good morning. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. You see, there's a line here dedicated to WhatsApp. That line is 845-344-7984. It's only WhatsApp is on that line. So even if you stay there and somebody's trying to call, it's not going to disrupt you. The rest of the lines have WhatsApp, have everything in them even have a signal on one of them eight four five two eight three nine six six five plus one nine two nine four zero six nine nine five three have a call coming on whatsapp line good morning tell us your name and where you're calling from Mazi, good morning god bless you Mazi. uh my name is amazi my man who go nature 
I am calling from the United States of America here in Washington DC, but I'm from Amibo. Amibo in Nolo. Amibo is the home of the Tiger and Amibo is the home of King Jaja Mazda. Thank you for all the good job you do for Biafra and I thank God Almighty for Mazin and Tikani. But they are so excited, you know, about this seat at home because I called Nigeria yesterday. All my people from Lagos to Port Harcourt, all of them, they are so excited. Honestly, I have never seen them so excited about this seat at home. That means that everything that you are doing, people are listening. Our people are gone. They have made up their mind. Biafra is here. So I am calling on all Biafrans. This is an opportunity for you to pay back to all those our people that have sacrificed their life. There are 5.5 million of our people that were killed, genocide, the first genocide that was committed against us. And not only that, our people have been killed so much up to today. Women have been made so widows, and then children have made orphan. We have been marginalized, we have been subjugated. These people have trampled on our rights and our justice. They are there to exterminate us in any way or form. This is an opportunity for us to get together. This is an opportunity for us to say no and tell them no, let the whole world know that we are not happy. And if you don't want to break this law, honestly, that means that you are enemy, you are the worst enemy. And I think that the time is going to come when we're going to visit our own you know, sort of trials, home to home, when we're going to, going to go and preach to them and enjoy and let them in their homes. They are not like them and their children. Do whatever you can do to them to exterminate them because those people that are coming to us are the ones that are hearing the small of our mouths. They are the people that are causing our problem. So this is our sample to us. The politicians, if you are an evil politician, if you are a government politician, and then you are against what you are doing. You better watch it, we are watching you. If you are just a sub in our midst, and then you are working against us, you better watch it because we are watching you. I am urging you the girlfriends. Take your camera, let your camera be your weapon. Take the note and then just take a picture of all the police, all the, you know, soldiers, anybody that is harassing you, any politician that is doing anything, take their picture and send it to us because we take this where we want them. Believe me, Habakkuk did not know that his time is coming. Remember? That's right. That's right. Okay. So, please, I am calling upon you. We have them so much. We have them internationally. We have them in Japan. Land. They are so scared for their life. The people, the people are not talking anymore. I am telling you, we have we are at advantage now. So, stand your ground and do what you have to do. Their plan must come. There is no two ways about it. I am calling upon you. For all those people that have been talking about, oh, uh, uh, is it uh, our head uh, director, directors or DOC or whatever they call them? Yeah. So now they have spoken. They have spoken and then Chica Edonsio has spoken like a man. I am proud of him. You see, it is good for you not to trust somebody because that person is not talking. Because you don't know what is in the mind of that man. So I am telling you, he has given up directive. If you are a principal officer, if you are a coordinator, Stay on your ground lane. If you are a financial secretary or whatever you are, stay on your lane and do your fucking job. That is all you have to do. Don't mingle in another person's thing. Do your job and do it right. And that is the only thing that you have to do. So I am calling upon you. The ESN is there and the ESN is our security. The security of the people, by the people and for the people. These are the people that are sitting in the bush in order to keep us safe. So please donate your money. No matter however it is, if you want to show your gratitude to Nandi the Kani, Nandi Kani is in the jail. Nandi Kani is not doing anything else now. Are you thinking about how the children are surviving? Have you asked how the wife is doing? Have you asked how they are feeling? And then you say you want to go to do job or do your job or just go ahead and do your trade or go to your market. And then you not think about this man. This man has had sacrificed all his comfort in the jail because of you. Honestly, we are out for everybody. If you don't stop that day and don't go out, then your own is coming. And I am calling upon all the government. Stand your ground because you are fighting for your rights. Then government is here and government is restored. Please donate the money. Go to our website. And that our website is www.ipod.org slash donate. www.ipod.org in USA.org slash donate. When you go to this website, it's going to direct you on what to do.
do, if you want to join, you can join. If you want to write a check, you can write a check. If you want to use your credit card, every direction is there. All information is in it is in our website god bless you thank you very much like i said before that website contains all the information that you need all the accounts that you can pay in money to is right there on the info on the uh, website so we go in there takes you know kill one bird with uh, <laughs> kill many birds with one stone just go in there at the website and everything is right there all right, caller, good morning. Call on straight line. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Good morning from here. Yes, Daddy, once again, good afternoon from this way, the upper land, the land of the brave and home of the free. There Sir, let me start by praising God with this song. I want to submit my appeal to DOS, yes, today, please. I'm not saying it's a, it's a general suggestion for me, please, individually. Let only our app be playing. The other radios in the Afro land can be switched off. Let me tell you where I think that's from. Now, what our leader said some years back is happening. They are now telling us more of our information than we think we are telling ourselves in our platform. If you doubt it, just switch off on any radio in Zoom. You will begin to know that we have finally gone. And while we are gone, no other people, no other generation can be like us again. Daddy, you people are too much. Honestly, I'm so excited that I don't know where to start. I'm just waiting so fast because uh, the joy coming out from the bone marrow cannot testify it all. <laughs> so I thank my leader wherever he is. And remember, my leader, wherever you are, please, I will tell you, you're not going anywhere. This one, you go just let this game finish, come out. Now, wow, you know what happen. I go tell you me, go tell you down, you go there here. Even if you know all of I want to see you every second, every minute, every moment. Everyone in the Afro land, go and buy your food stock. Not coming to tell us how the thing is pinching you. I was expecting you to say, please, let's go to ourselves money to buy food. Because the day is counting down, and we don't need to blame anyone. Thank you so much, dear friends. Thank you, sir. I mean, Diana, Biafra. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Diana, Biafra. I like that name. All right, this is Radio Biafra USA. Two people are still calling me. Let me see this one on WhatsApp. I keep on this WhatsApp here. It's not very viable. It's not very healthy. All right, let me take this one. Uh, caller, good morning. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Samazi Peters. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, sir. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Just uh, some nice color on the background. Okay. 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 The Enye Maba People call him Ohamadi uh, 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 I call him Enye Maba His Excellency Mazin Nambekalu The one that is God sent The prophet of God In our time And then I want to just advise our people You know uh, As now they should forget. You know, uh, just few months ago, we were having problems of uh, planning his men killing our people. The prices of food stuff skyrocketed. Even a uh, gari, one costed a uh, penta of gari was approaching 2,000 
But just to stay at home one day, just one day, and they are complaining. You know, I was evangelizing telling some groups of people last Saturday that we had clean up that they should stay at home on Monday. And somebody asked me, oh, what's your authority and who's your authority? <laughs> I said, okay, that day come up now. And the spirit of Biafra will visit you. Many people have died from this cause, and many are in prison. Many are being <laughs> tortured on daily basis. Many of our ladies are being raped repeatedly, and they don't want to be free from all this nonsense. I wonder our people i don't know i don't know what is only in the nancy the only think about money every moment money why they don't have I know. all our resources are taken away from us yet they don't want to be free they don't have mercy on anybody who will come out on monday in fact, I almost saw more I can leave me one week. One week. You know, oh, 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 I go go back. All along, people are there, Jeff Pam, look what happened, lost on a farm. I go now. Then, now, our leader, Potter ESM, I took a standing on a farm. How are you going to, you know? So, uh, I am in full support. The DOS, may God bless you people. Bless uh, the head of the directorate. <laughs> and all of you who are on air every moment, giving us information. The Lord God will reward each and every one of us greatly. Yeah. In his name, Chukwotika Abiyama. Very bless you, my nana. I know you I know you are Biafra. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. Okay, and I'm blessed. Remain blessed. Bye. Professor. Thank you so much. All right. This is Radio Biafra USA too. All right. Uh, we're still taking calls on different points. Uh, let's see. I'd say this line, you know, this um, 845, it's a confusion. There's so many lines, so many people, so many phones mm -hmm. there. Different ones are ringing at the same time when you're talking and it's very hard for me to control. All right, I have a call coming in on straight line. Caller, good morning. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Thank you, my brother. Good morning. Uh, over there and then good afternoon this side. Welcome this to is the your program. brother, Mazin Dukokoro, original speaking. Yeah, so well. it's because of this hour. Thank you, sir. Because of this hour, seat at home. It is very, very unfortunate that the so called or some so called Igbo leaders that are being used by these Polani people to, to say something against this seat at home. Now, like as you have rightly said, these Polani Kabas, they are very, very much afraid of this seat at home. That is why they are using some so-called prominent people. They call them and say, go and speak against it, and they will foolishly come out and speak against this. Not even one day seat at home. This seat at home is from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., not even a full day. The, the useless pastors will tell their congregation to fast for one week and they will stay hungry for one week and grow very thin <laughs> yet they wouldn't complain oh, wow. yeah, so, they wouldn't complain but because of our leader no prominent Igbo man has ever spoken just like what happened in the west Igbo was arrested somebody like the only of Ife spoke and organized people to go and talk about their son but we have traditional rulers here in the East. None of them have spoken. Even someone like Obio Furniture. And many of them, they have not spoken about their son who was kidnapped from Kenya and brought into Nigeria. None of them have spoken. But they only come out to say, why should we sit at home on Monday? They say, we didn't go our business. What, what type of business? You have been doing this like somebody rightly said. You only make money to build four deck and to build petrol stations. That is all. But this man has sacrificed everything. The son of a king. The other kings in, in Ebola never spoken about the son of their fellow king. And they are talking about 
Then and they can IPOB say we say I sit at home on Monday. Let them meet us and come out on that Monday now. They will see the spirit of Biafra. Just from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And you are complaining. Yes. But when they came and told us about COVID, they locked us down for one full month. We never complained. Na na wow. Because committee will be against us. I think I think I think the point is that let me be honest with you, it's not the Fulani people. They these are people that our people who think that they are very relevant. That is the, the, their ego is being touched. How can we sit down here and this boy is giving order? Let them go and hang the transformer. Or put no coordinate transformer anyway. No, let them go and hang themselves, whatever they want to do. Namdekano has spoken for him. We are going to sit at home whether they like it or not. The reason the, what they are doing, and as a Fulani, they are talking. They are not talking for Fulani. They are talking for themselves. Their ego is touched. How can I sit down here? I call myself governor, and this man is uh, uh, giving order that we should stay at home. What am I going to do? They forget about economy. They don't even do. They really care whether you are hungry or you are starving. It's not their business. They have never been that caring for for our own people. So what they are crying for is their ego. It is nothing else. Madam, our evangelist just spoke. What she was saying, I said, I go, I go, and whose authority am I going to start home? Look at him. <laughs> and whose authority? That is what they are bothered with. They are bothered with the fact that they say no, Namdekano, for him, the followership is, is amazing to them. They cannot help it. They have no choice. But you know something? They will eventually join. And when they come in, they will stay at the back. Oh no, somebody has to accept that my importance, my relevance is no more, doesn't mean anything anymore. It will first four filling stations and roll four decks. You think that makes you an authority. You can't even talk to your house boy to go and do something without his grumbling. But Namdi Khan has no money. He has all he has is the goodwill, the love for the people. And he has succeeded effectively and there is nothing anybody can do. They can go out there and complain. Oh, it, will, it will impact the lives of our people. Go and ask the man who is saying that. How many people do you feed? How many people that don't work for you that you go out to take care of? How many people, not the people that will gratify you and say hello to you? How many people in the street have you ever seen that have nothing to do with you? People that cannot return it. Thank you. People that you can give something without anybody tapping you on the back as he was or Hawan of you, whatever. You are not. You are just selfish people, selfish idiots, whose ego have been touched by this present what we are doing. Their ego have been touched. Their relevance, that the relevancy that they think they have, have been taken away from them, and that is why they are all soft, you know, squeezing themselves. Call on first straight line, please. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Yes, my sister, can you hear me, sir? Good morning. Welcome to the program. I'm 
pas de mal à mon superman. Je ne pas de mal à mon Thank you so much. This is Radio Biafra USA 2 host to take calls at 646-9204541-845-344-7984-1929-406-9953. So Monday is the day to not be deceived by anybody. All the people that are crying, oh, I go, I go, they have not been part of us. Go and ask the person who is talking, how, what you say. His relationship with IPOB, you discover that he is just there looking for something to incite people, not not because he doesn't like what we are doing, but the truth is that just because he is not the one that organized it, it didn't come from him. So that jealousy and that uh, with all his, his Afuku and everything that he has, nobody listens to him, nobody pays attention to him. That is exactly what is killing him. How can it be Namdi Khan? Why can't it be me? That's the point. But it cannot be you because you are not ordained to do that. Whatever you have done to do, I will not allow to sell petrol. Keep selling your petrol and forget about any other bicycle. Because you are not the same thing. Your, your life is different. You don't have that power. You don't have that discipline to be able to do what Namdi Khan is doing. After all, there are people, there are likes of was Wike who started it. We all saw it. He was doing well, but at the point is that he could not have that discipline. At Riego, there's no doubt about it. When he started building hotels and freedom fighters start building hotels and start throwing money around, you know, trying fraternizing with the people that are trying to get independence from, if I'm not so bold, that, that's, that's the follow-up. But the point is that they will not agree because, you know, something, the, their ego is still in control of them. That thing they call ego ego everybody's got one when you when you when you have it you think you are everything and you go to somewhere and nobody recognizes you your ego is touched it's touched i have been to a place with somebody and that person believe me sincerely it's a close friend uh, he is a he is a reverend per se he's a pastor in a church he has a group great enlargement in the church and he went somewhere with me he didn't go with me because uh, we w didn't go hand in hand. I met him there, and when they were introducing people from the from the from the from the stage, he was sitting next to me. Nobody acknowledged his presence. The thing hurt him so much because he complained about it. Through I won't even let me hear what they're saying. He was telling me how God has blessed him. That it's not people that you know. Why are you worried? You are not recognized. I wasn't recognized. It doesn't mean anything. It didn't mean anything to me, to be honest. Sometimes it's better to go in there when the person sees you and then say, ah, were you here? But he was there, like me, like everybody else. But because he's, he was not acknowledged by the man on stage, it hurt him. That's, his, that's what we call ego. He felt that anyway he comes in, people should recognize him. No, nobody does that. People don't recognize people like that. You know, you go to places and uh, whatever happens, take it the way it has come. So these people that are complaining, eh, how can Monday, how can we say to Monday, eh, people are hungry. Go and ask him how many people in his community that he feeds. So you know they are hungry. They've been hungry all this while. Have, who have you given anything? Nothing. Because you think, because your ego is touched. 
you are not relevant anymore in the scheme of things. Mazin Nam, the colonel, uh, the unknown person from nowhere that has no money, that has no pot belly like you and everything, and people are clamoring for him. That hurts. That really, really hurts your ego. So that's why you're crying. You're not crying because uh, 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 people are going to get hungry. You come on, man. You, 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 you stop fooling yourself. That is the major thing. Okay, have a call. Let me take this one. Call her on uh, WhatsApp. Call her on WhatsApp line. Good morning. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Thank you very much, Mazi. Hi, Peter. From here, my name is Desmond, and I'm calling you from Italy, Mazi. No. Mazi, I want to say good afternoon. Good afternoon from here to you, and good afternoon to the friends, IPB family members, and our leader. I'm uh, greeting the Mazi and the Kano who says, Excellency, I salute you from here. Mazi, um, I appreciate your good work and, you know, it's not easy. Things are happening and things will continue to happen to get to Biafra. The Mazi, let me say one thing first, then I will ask you a question because I know you are from, I am from Anambra, so I'm going to ask you a very important question. In response to, I want to respond to the Anambra government and the police, you know, with the question I will ask you. You know, but before then, let me go ahead to say, in addition to our ghost stand that will be coming up from Monday, the night of August, continuously every Monday, in every week in Biakra land, our people will also have to support ESN, as we know, um, thank God, our Director of State, Head of the Director of State, made very clear that we must continue to support ESN, and um, for the Afghans in Italy, we have these numbers from IPUB National Body, signed by the IPUB National Coordinator in Italy. Please do call any of this number for our Afghans in Italy, friends of the Afghans and our uh, well wishers. It is very, very important now as 9th of August is our priority, so the support for ESN is our priority because our uh, general priority is to restore Biafra and the safety of our people, especially our mothers in the bushes. Because we don't want full and new headsmen killers in our bushes to be tormenting our mother just as we've been doing um, in all these years. So for the Afghans in Italy, please do call this number plus 39 I repeat plus 39 This number is for IPUB National Coordinator in Italy. Second number is plus three nine three five one two five five one two seven four. I repeat plus three nine three five one two five five one two seven four. It is for IPUB National PRO in Italy. This any of the number you call will be directed on how to support ESN. Marzi, please, I want to ask you this question. Please pardon me. Um, Marzi, I I mean you are a veteran, you are an Italian man. Please, in Anambra, apart from our people who are doing their normal daily businesses and then carrying out their normal activities, some of our people, you know, are very industrious, personally, you know. I mean, is there any manufacturing company or manufacturing industry in Anambra State, in the whole of Anambra State, I mean to say, that is functioning? Is, is there anyone, Marzi? Please, could you respond? Yes, and yes. Pass me here. There are there are some uh, individual ones, yes, that are functioning, but yeah, not I said individual. I said apart from individual. I mean, when I say is there oh. from the government or no, from no, the federal? No, is there no, not, not that I know of. Not that I know of. No, most of okay, the okay, individuals okay, in also the government. I, okay, also I said none that I know of. I know of individual, but I don't know of any. So what I'm trying to tell our people is that. The Anambra government and police that is telling you to not come out is because they want to keep on exploiting you. Because what they are actually doing is they are exploiting is exploitation of our resources and our people. Because our people naturally and God gifted they are hard working. Are you with me? So when we lock down the whole of Biafra land, the economy, we are hitting the economy. That is why we call it economic sanction against the Nigeria state that is exploiting us. So our people must understand where all these people, these the people saying nonsense about our declaration, 
about the ghost town is for their own selfish use. People, the government, like the governors, like the police, who in the other way exploiting our people, like for our nurses, like the chief, who when they exploit our people, they give them their own share. So our people must understand that these people don't mean well for them. Everybody must sit at home on the 9th of August, which is a few days from today, in solidarity and for the release of our leader, Mazinam the camp, because it is very, very important. We cannot allow our enemies to be using our resources to strangulate us economically, strangulate our life, and keep us in perpetual slavery and poverty. The time for that has gone. This time is the will, it's time for the will of the people and the wishes of the people to prevail. And that is, it. And that is why we say referendum. And nothing else, because the will of the people must prevail. The people must take back their destiny, and we, the Afghans, are taking our destiny. So anybody who dares to come out that very day to meet a Wakalu, which he might not live to tell the story, it is giving him the freedom. So 9th of August is total lockdown is a good season across the Afghan land. And our people at home must be ready for the future, you know, because the days ahead might be dark, but the future is very, very good. At the end of this dark tunnel, we shall rejoice and see the sunlight, which will come with the blessing of God and happiness. Thank you very much, Mazi, and God bless you. We pray for ESL, we also pray for our leader, and we pray for all those working as just they had for the destruction of the Afra at the end of the day. We shall the Thank you, sir. Uh, there we All right, thank you very much. The, yes, the sound is strong to come up well. All right, let me take another one on uh, caller. Good morning. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Caller from private line, please. Yeah, my brother, I did out. Thank you very much. I've been calling for about two, a week or two, a week and a half now, but I'm not going through. I know that you are not to do this to propose. And I know that the number of people are calling. Shalom. Good morning, Mama Nubiafra. All over the world. And good morning, my brother. Mama, I am that I am. And I am that I am. I have sent you to the world. I am have sent you to Biafra to save and to rescue and to give your people freedom through Chukwokike Abiyama. And we all shall enjoy. We all shall be free. Thank you very much. My name is Chukwe Emmanuel. I'm a native of Isiago, Biafra land. I greet you once more, Mazai Peters, for your efforts on this journey. It is not easy. I also greet my leader, our leader for a time like this. I was carefully listening for some of our brothers. I want to start like this. First of all, those people who are complaining about a Monday seat at home, this is the problem of black people, mainly Igbo people. Igbo Nigeria, let me put it very clear. This group of people, from the starting of Nigeria, Fulani hate Igbo man from the beginning, from Ahmad Beloti today, it was growing day by day. Everything that is happening in Nigeria, Igbo people are the people who are cheating from left to right to back to front and some group of criminals calling themselves APC and PDP who are working for Fulanis to take over Igbo Biafra land. Everything they complain Everything they complain. Look at him on the panel. Who gave up everything? This family. Somebody as evil man will come out 
in a time like this to make a statement to challenge the order given by IPOB to sit at home on Monday night. When I hear such thing, I see evil man like that as the worst thing that happened on earth. Sometimes I start to think there's somebody called Ken in Bible. Ken is a brother to Abel. Ken killed his brother Abel. And God caused Ken for doing that. And I was thinking sometime, maybe, maybe Ken has a relation in Igbo land because God caused him. I see no reason why somebody from the East will be now challenging when Fulani has destroyed Nigeria from A to Z. When you cannot travel in the day on the road and be free to avoid Fulani to kidnap you and take to the bush and kill or demanding for ransom, you cannot travel in the night anymore in Nigeria. And somebody somewhere is there messing up. What type of people are these? I'm, I'm asking question. Black people, what is wrong with you? Black people, upon all this stage, somebody somewhere in Igbo land, even some of them in America here, are against their freedom. How useless these people are. Where are they coming from? And where are they going? People that have no future. What you have is what you will eat today. And tomorrow you will die. The trouble you created will wait forever. Shameless human being. Let us watch what is going to happen on Monday. Thank you. Monday is not the end. Another Monday is coming. Another Monday is coming. Another Monday is coming. At the end, all the pipe of oil, war will come up. And all everything will burn down. Nigeria, that is what they want. Thank you very much. All right, yes. Thank you so much. All right. This is Radio Biafra USA 2. We're still taking calls at 646-920-4541. Yeah, Monday is not going to ever end until they let our leader go. That's it. That's it. We're going to continue doing it regardless of what anybody thinks. I have a call on uh, Principal Officer's line. Good morning. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Good afternoon. I'm Ike Peters. This is Finland. I'm calling you from above. Welcome to the program. Um, yes, uh, I don't want to spend much time. I was just listening to Radio Biafra when somebody said that radio in Aba is not talking. That's what I want to respond to. Yeah. Uh, here in Aba, we are listening to Radio Biafra. From FM is on. Okay. FM is on in Abba. What, 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 the guy, what, the guy, what the guy said actually was that it was very low, the volume. It was, he said the radio was talking, but it was, the volume was low. So I don't know. <laughs> maybe it uh, has to do with the set that he's listening from. But uh, Maybe, maybe. Yes. All right. Yeah, but uh, from my side, it will be such a... Okay, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Hello. Yes, go ahead, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, this is ready. That's all right. All right, no problem. Thanks. Thanks for your information. All right, my brother who called actually was complaining that the volume was low, but now somebody's volume is okay, which means it has to do with the set, your own radio that you're listening from. You know, got to do some work on it. And then <clears throat> whatever happens, I'm very happy that Abba is back. Uh, because a lot of people in Abba was complaining, especially there's somebody who calls me from Abba. There's a lady, a young lady who calls me all the time. Uh, she's like, uh, we are in the dark. You know, what are you going to do to make sure? To, I've been promising, I'm promising, I'm promising. But this time, I'm, <clears throat> I'm happy to learn that um, Abba is fully on, uh, which is very important. This is Radio Biafra USA 2. We're still taking calls at 646-920-4541. Still have to remind you about the rally that is coming in, coming on in London. 
<coughs> 25th, 26th, 27th, uh, women are going to do something that will shock the world from all over the world. Uh, Biafrans everywhere they are in the world, they are all going to London, and that's where it's going to hold. It's a mega rally. Different, it's, it's not, not in the United States, it's in London. So those of you who have visa that can travel from all over Europe, you can go there and take part in it. Like I said, I'm still considering seriously whether to to take that trip. And uh, if it's possible for me, honestly, I would very much want to be there. I want to cover their life. I want to be there live to see what is going on and, and be able to spread it to the world. So the date is 25th, 26th, and 27th day of August. And that's when it's going to hold. So make sure that you're ready for it. I'll take a very, 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 very quick one. And again, here sitting down, they will do us, they make us very proud, and uh, they are going to go to London for this mega rally from all over the world. Uh, Biafran women, wherever they are located, London is the day. The day is the 25th, 26th, and 27th, 10 p.m., 10 a.m. in the morning in London time, which is about 6 p.m. here, Biafran. I mean, um, here in America. They are going to go. For those of you who can make it, please start making preparation for it. We would like to, you to be able to attend if you are. If you can afford it, uh, it's a foreign land, you have to go in there and get prepared. That's why we are announcing it on time so that you are not taken unaware. Get there. It's going to comprise not just the uh, Biafra women from uh, United States, no, from all over the world. Wherever you go there, they are going to go there and tell the world our plight, <clears throat> take our story to the world for them to see. They did the same thing in 1929. They're trying to replicate what the women did in Aba. Remember the Aba women riots? I wasn't born then, but at least I read a little bit of it in history. And Margaret Ekbo and the rest of them, they were, had to do with taxes and something of that nature. So the same thing is going to happen. We are repeating the same thing in London. We are going to London. A complete rally. Mega rally. It's going to be mega. Mega in the sense that it's going to comprise not just women from here, but women from all over the world. Women, and talk about Biafra women, and freedom lovers actually, not just Biafra women alone. Freedom lovers, if you love freedom, you want to be free, like most of us like to. London is the place you're going to go with our women to go and exhibit and show them that you are ready for freedom. That there's nothing anybody can do to stop us. We are all geared. I like I said, I will try my best. Honestly, I am looking forward to that date. I'll do everything in my part to make sure that I'm there, like everybody else. And uh, so it's um, something on the remarkable men, you know, they, they, there's, there's a website that they open for the men uh, who want to support what the women are doing. We're going to go there, all of us. But Monday starting, this one, Monday does not require, <clears throat> does not require money, does not require uh, anything, just your physical support in what is happening. From Monday, we'll be sitting at home every Monday until our leader is released starting on the 9th. The ninth day of this month, which is Monday, that's when it's going to start. I have a call, straight line call. Call us, tell us your name and where you're calling from. Good morning from here. Marge, Marge, I Peters. Good afternoon from Biafra Land, sir. Welcome to the program. Marge, yes, sir. My name is Marge Hindu Brother. They're calling from about right now. Okay. My brother, as it is going on now, sir, I like what Biafra Land are doing because. They are friends. I tell Chico Kikabian that the majority of us are waking up to what is going on. Yes. Now, look at what is happening in Imo State. If you move on the street, they will grab you. They may see you again. They may not see you again. So called politicians. What I call them is, what I call politicians is Yahoo boys because they are the main people doing Yahoo business. They are the main people doing Yahoo business. When somebody, you give money to go and buy granite for you, the person eats the money without buying the granite. It's not a Yahoo. That is a lie. That is cheating. That is the same thing those young, small, small boys they are killing are doing. They are killing them because they are in the government. It is not good. Quite well, everybody knows that, that it is not good. I have never indulged myself in, in, into such business. But look at the so-called politicians. 
that should be the one protecting the people. They are killing the people. They are the ones killing us, destroying us every day. Making things very, very difficult for us. And some of our brothers are still jumping around them. Jumping around them. You are, if you are still jumping around any politician, because no any politician have anything in mind. Somebody, okay, Chiku, somebody, you see Guzo, that said that the IPOB should drop uh, the, 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 the seat at home idea. That it will, not, it will not solve any problem. Let me tell him that he's an idiot. He's a thief. He's only a only ship for because no one should go under Nigeria government. That's why you went to Kukwa on it. If he's not a thief, if it is a man that has the truth, you could have known that at least that one can help us. But another idea I want to give our brothers, if you are an importer and you are a Biafran, few outside men that majority of our brothers and sisters are into importation. And they are making money. If you go to on a wharf at Kotakot, majority of the officers that call themselves uh, uh, custom officers, Fulani and the Awosa, some Yoruba, yes. before you see an Igbo man or even the African man within the Konakorium, it will be fine in, in terms of ranking. They choose themselves, siphoning up our, our people. Some at times, then we see the containers of our brothers, they take it to Kanu and break the container and still bring the goods. Something like Tokumbo clothes, Tokumbo shoes, is the importation of our brothers. They will come, they will steal that, that containers and they, uh, and they sell it to their own brothers. They will take it to the canoe and they break the container and they sell the whole goods. The money you lose in the important things will go. Still, such a thing is happening. Some of our brothers are still dancing around, thinking of that they want Nigeria, one night. Anybody that tells you one Nigeria today is the enemy to you. Let me say to be a fast. Any man you are still down with, and that man is telling you about one Nigeria, that man is an enemy. That man is a thief. That man is a ritualist. To compare this man at a human state and government house, go place who's on your Corporate is or just a member of the code is a killer. And the man, that's why they're killing our, bro our brothers, selling their body parts, making money from it. They are human being marketers now, including bandits and uh, 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 all of them put together. They are the ones killing our people. And uh, some of our brothers are still jumping around. You know, you never know that uh, evil things are more evil are on the way for you. If you reject Biafra, more evil are for you. Because your enemy must take you on our way. Your enemy are very, very close to you. And our leader, the only righteous man we can ever be proud of today in terms of leadership. You, that man, you people allow him to go and stay under the dungeon of our enemies to suffer. It's a pity. That man that wants to serve you, you are allowing your enemy to kill him. Until now, some so-called politicians in this Biafra land refuse to wake up. It's a shame to them. And I put it to them in shame and the world has been more the is taken away from you who should you go carry will never allow such a thing to happen yes. you will know really a man has been more the time come to save you what to destroy you no. coming on monday or anybody that comes outside like the land of the Biafra will swallow such a human being we must sit in your house from more from coming monday and the continuously our people should stop importing goods to enrich his new country our people should stop importing because we are feeding our enemies Importation. Thank you very much, Manazi. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, this is good. You know, there's this story in my that I think I told this story before. My community are supporting me, Hana Waikuru. <laughs> it means that it's somebody who in the society in the meeting he's raising his hand friends, he wants to talk. He was very much wants to say something and everybody's like, Okay, 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 allow him to talk. Then he gets up clears his throat and says I support Remi Hana Waikuru. In other words, there's no con nothing to contribute. All these people you see that so called Hane Sendi Isin Gusoko somebody just mentioned his name now, that's why I'm trying to talk about it. If they think that they have the power, why do they have to say they whether they support what we're doing or not supporting it? What they should do is get up and give their own order. <laughs> that the people should come to the street and let us see who listen to them. Don't go there and sit down and somebody say, oh, no, I don't support or I support. No. Give your own instruction. If you think you are somebody, if you think you are what you are claiming to be, come out there and give order and let us see who will obey it. All of you guys are drowning. You are just like people who are, you know, a drowning person that can clutch a snake to save his life. You are not relevant anymore. The day you realize that, you will know that that's, the, that's your awakening for you. You are not relevant. You cannot give instruction to nobody. Nobody's going to take instructions from you. You are nobody. But you, see, you know something? You are still thinking in your demented mind, in your, you know, 
in your empty head that you are a crocodile when you are just a lizard not even a real lizard when you start climbing on your ego oh how can it be that Nam Dikano and his people will give instruction and everybody will take it give your own instruction and let us see who takes it forget about what what Nam Dikano and his group does what you should do is come out there and give your own instruction Nam Dikano that's how he started he wasn't the one that started it there were people that were doing it it was like they were all running cluttering here and they're making all the noise he joined them lo and behold he found out that these people were not honest he didn't take their name from them he left them with their name he went out there and started the indigenous people of biafra ipob or, or coca eh you know when you throw a, 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 a there's something you throw on the ground pam that is a name and he started building it from the scratch and today we can see where we are going so anybody who thinks not the or the easy go and start something caller good morning have a caller on straight line tell us your name and where you're calling from morning be over the world uh, my name is you i'm calling from uh Maryland. Uh, welcome to the program uh, yes sir um the what i want to put in this morning is uh, something that you know there are sometimes you have private meditation to meditate on people's you know the way this is the person's way of life what marvels me is i may try to meditate the time of uh Rochas, the time of ajuku denwa the time of hakim i saw how the church was so vocal the church was so vocal in criticizing them. These people, it's not that they were not doing things bad, but they were not as bad as this oh, vampire called Hopus Odima. What bothers me is why is, when I talk church, is why is Catholic Church keep quiet? Why is Catholic Church quiet over what is happening in Imo State? Over the way Nigeria and the Hopos of them they are killing our people, and they are so quiet. What I mean, quiet, they are so quiet because I know the way they used to talk, I know the energy because I was I was part of the system. When I say it before, most of my priest friends, most of my listen were angry. I said that that is not right. If Hopus Odima will commit all this crime and on Sunday you see a Catholic priest giving him Holy Communion, what are you trying, which message are you trying to pass? I don't understand. Because all we believe is that George can confront him. George can tell him, man, stop this. Yes, there was a time uh, I preached Bob Bobina went to the mortuary and the press guy, he saw this thing and he did. That is not enough. That is not enough. Look at, uh, yes, I know, uh, at my Tama, he did, he that. Oh dear, he did, he, he, do, he built a, a shrine in the name of church. You people should not be insulting the church. You people should not be insulting God. That is an insult to God. After committing all this crime, that everybody, everywhere in the whole world, we know who on earth will encourage killers to come. Look at even the, the case of Abakere should be should push shame on all of them. But who are doing who are calling the killers to, to kill our people and those who are who are supposed to say something and they are keeping quiet, they should be ashamed of themselves. Look at look at what is happening. Even even Rochas was criticized in a way that even even one of the one of the uh one of the uh mass one hour, I think Rochas even uh, they took a microphone from Archbishop Obina to tell you how vibrant he was in talking against the injustice he was doing then. What changed? What I want to ask, what really changed? That is that is terrible. That's why I keep on saying that you see Biafra keeps being our religion, no matter how you understand it, because yes. that's where you know the sanity and the truth behind this. There are many things they are not telling us. Most of my priest friends, they know me very, very well. There is a name I will release on air, on air now. You will be marvel, even the person who is talking this thing. 
I'm a musician. And what I mean, what I mean, musician, I'm a musician. With even with this information I have said now, if they are listening, they know who I am. That is wrong. That is very, very wrong. I am not saying that they should they should uh, come on the road, they should do this. They should. Why not the Catholic Church in Imo State condemn what is happening in Olo? Condemn what is happening in Imo State. Condemn what is happening in Ibo land. Condemn what is happening in Biafra land. Behind the doors, all of them send me a message. Hey, listen. I ask them, Father, why not on your pulpit? Can't you say something against this thing? Master Peter, I'm not happy. Thank you very much. No, no, nobody is smart there. All right, thank you very much. This is Radio Biafra USA too. No, you know, the truth must be told, no matter how old anybody feels. Nobody's happy, absolutely nobody, honestly. But uh, the point is that what do we do? Like I said, salvation is for the individual. One day they will all answer. Because uh, being a priest is not only when you counsel a husband and wife that is quarreling, or when you read the Bible to me. Priesthood be depends on uh, when you can see the truth and say it the way it is. You, you, are, you are not, I don't really think that there is anything you're going to lose by saying it. Nothing. There was, there was, what, what will they do to a priest anyway that says it? <laughs> Nothing. No? Well, what if I am on ya? Because, the uh, Okurana, the way it is, it is left for you. But this is very paramount with our people. You know, the Igbo people, we are, we are built like that. The way we are built is that we, I, I don't know how I would describe us. Whether I will say we are so jealous of our, each other that that we don't we, we tend not to speak the truth when you see them when we hear the truth we tend to shy away from it. But um, regardless, there are people there who always say that same truth and nothing will happen to them. Let me see. I have a call. Caller, good morning. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Call on straight line. Good afternoon, sir. Other two calling from Biafra. Welcome to the program. Yes, sir. Um, they said um, they appointed everybody to, to go and ne negotiate with who? Martin and the or IPAB. I don't know. I just saw something like that on Facebook, but I don't want to take it seriously because it's unverified. Anybody can just write anything okay. I like to write, so it's not important. But, but even if that is the, the case, our people should understand something that full and people are taking everybody for granted. You are even if that is if if that is something to go by, you are holding people's leader. You are sending someone else to go and negotiate with who? <laughs> These people feel they have the monopoly that they feel they feel they can swallow everybody up. I do not blame them. I blame the saboteurs. I blame the governors, and I blame even the church because the people that have died the most in this regime are, are Christians, and they died because of their ignorance and their support for evil. Because when you tell them this is the way, this is the way they say you are Antichrist. This is the way they say you are Antichrist. Our people became so religious to the point that it is now disease to us. It it it, 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 it has damaged us uh, to a very very to a very large extent. It has damaged us as a people. If we can keep religion aside and pursue freedom first, we will achieve what we want to achieve. Then afterward, our leader said it one time. Oh, as a child, as a But our people will not as a half hour. That is the problem we are we, we have. Our people must come to, to together. For they are taking everybody for for granted. Let us match this toe to toe. To. Who are they, for goodness' sake? If we come together. Thank you, sir. They will. Thank you so much. You know that's the point. Like I said, our people, the the hate. The division and the, the British people are having a field time with that. Let me see. Have a uh, see what time I got here. All right. Let me take one more call before I call it a day. Caller on um, principal officers line. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Good morning from here. Yes, hi, Peter. Good afternoon, sir. Welcome to the program. Thank you, sir. I know your time is up uh, I will. I will make it short. Uh, thank you, Peter. Before being on air and uh, getting us where to go and what about to happen. God bless you, my brother, and God bless all the broadcasters who dedicate their time and their energy to to put
push this uh, struggle forward. I say, may God bless all of you. Now, as you see, this complaint, these people are complaining about our sit at home that coming up. You see, this will tell you that we are equal to the tax. You see, if they think that where we are staying is a threat, they will not complain. They know what IPO is made of. They know that if we say something, we will bring it to the light. If we say sit at home, they know that everybody, everybody in the will obey it. That's why they are talking. Because if they know that what we are saying is ordinary threat or we're just making noise, they will not say anything. They will say, oh, leave it. That's the way they talk. But know that what we are saying, we must do it. That's why they are talking. So it's a plus to us. It's a very, very big plus. Because if they are talking this, to tell you that what we are saying, they know we will do it and we must do it. Now, Nazar Peters, let me tell those that in Biafra land, be a foreigner. In Biafra land. If you are a foreigner in Biafra land, you see this ghost season, you see this ghost town that's about to happen on 9th of August, you must obey it. If you are full of man, if you are a son man, no matter who you may be, you must obey this law. If you are not, then you will face the consequences. Now, if we, Biafra, in your town, in our in, in full of town, we obey your law. You put a law that we should not move away with your women. We should not follow your women. We obey your law. We never move out with your women. That's your law. We obey it. You say that we should not drink outside your place. We do it. We never drink. We never sell our drink. We are prohibited. We obey your law. So you must surely obey our own law. And you say again, we should not say pig meat. We should not say pig meat in your market. We are not saying pig meat in your market. So this is your law. And we, we that they obey your law. You in our territory, in Biafra territory, you must obey this law. It's must. It's not if you want. No. You must obey this law. You see this oh God, you see this a ghost season that's coming. You must whatever you need, you must obey this law. It's must. You must obey it. That's number one. Mazai Peter, let me tell you what this man said, the Sudan of Sokoto. He said he was think that we are foolish. They want us to give them presidency so that they may leave Nigeria and go with their Biafra. So we are not going to give them the presidency. They say that all of them are Biafra. They want Biafra. They are pretending. That's what Satan of Sokoto said. So what made me saying this is for those who think that presidency will bring anything and this full army people is not there. If they are not here to give you what you are looking for, they will not give you presidency. Biafra is the only way out. Biafra is the only way of our survival. And we must show that they are Biafra. Mas, before I drop, there's one of our sisters that called last time. I think, uh, is it, uh, I don't know which program he called. He said something. He said in a bony state, they make a law to buy any, 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 uh, uh, full of cow. They banned it. People is not buying full of cow that side. Mas, we have to prevent this, this, this something. You see, the full of, full of meat cow, you saw this cow that they are using. We have to abide in the Biafra land. We will never, never allow full of any cow to be sold in our market or in our restaurant in our, in our, or in our hotels. We must, we must, after this lockdown, we must focus and do more. Lockdown is for just beginning. We must hold these people very, very serious. We must hold them very, very serious. Like this idiot calling himself Obi Kabana. We will go invite this criminal, call him, say what his name again. All right, uh, all right. uh, all right. let's, let's not go there. That's individual thing. I don't. I don't want to discuss that. We don't want to talk about that. He can do whatever he wants to do. That's that's him. He has nothing to do with our struggle. No, Mas, why I bring in this thing? Because yeah. when he when he do the burial with his mother, you know how many cows them brought there. Yeah, that's right. more than five hundred cows. That's, you are correct. You are correct, but in a sense, it's not important. We're not going to talk about it. Honestly, he has learned his lesson. I don't think by shouting it is going to change anything. He made he did something stupid. We all know that, but it's not something that's going to take our time. It's not important, honestly. Um, yeah, honestly, Mas, I thank you for your advice. I thank how you handle this program. If anybody going out of the point, then you put him home. Thank you for having me, Mas. I Peter. God bless you. Thank you, sir. God bless thank you. you. All right. Thank you so much. This is Radio Biafra. We are almost uh, we are at the end of our program actually not that we are almost but I'll just take a very short quick 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 clip. there is a contract there is an investment the British government want to go and invest in Kenya we read the news the other time they are going to invest a, 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 an investment worth about 200 million dollars in Kenya now there is another latest news if you read it that all the whole um, 
front worker lines, nurses or whatever of Kenyan citizens that I think schooled or whatever in Kenya that the government, UK government should allow them to work for some time to earn money before they return. I don't know whether you understand what is going on. I don't know whether you understand. So these are the games that are going on. So with all these things now, you will understand the hypocrite, the, the, the hypocrisy over British government. Over the, the, how they are playing their, their politics. So that you shouldn't have hope. See how they reacted. See their reaction. See how they, the role they played when it comes to that of Omar Rodiko. And see how slow whatever they are playing in that of Mazin Namdekano. Mazin Namdekano, as at now they hold him, has nothing to do with Nigerian government in terms of documents. He was holding his British passport when they kidnapped him. Under normal circumstances, the government that's supposed to stand is the British government. It's the British government that's supposed to come out and stand for him because that is they are the one who gave him the documents he's carrying about. But you see how slow they are because there is one witch wizard we in, in the in british high commission in nigeria her name is katrina lang she is the one of programming everything it is what she said that the government in britain is doing so we need to understand those things why am i putting all this so that you we should not put our hope in demon to help you don't put your hope in 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 evil or in a in in a government that have been possessed with evil to help you it won't work the same people who few months a few weeks ago said that uh, um, uh, um, they, will, they will give asylum to any IPOB in Britain before our leader come and came out and counter it that what, they, what we need is a um, referendum now their own citizen somebody who want to give you asylum their own citizen look at what is holding him what has happened to him but they are not reacting I want you to understand the compare the two and see the game that the British government is playing. Compare the two between Umaru Diko's case and that of our leader. Both are under extraordinary rendition. Nigeria tried to kidnap him back home, but they did not succeed. But look at the reaction of Britain as at that time. That of our leader, they succeeded with the Kenyan government. Look at this reaction and how slow the British government is. This will prove to you that indeed they are evil. The British government are evil. They know what they are doing. So don't hope on them. Just let the world know. Maybe somebody will come out and speak. Very, very important. But waiting for them to do something for good for you is just like waiting for devil to bless you. Because that is who they are. And we must tell them the truth. After all, they have been killing us. After all, they have been killing us. The, 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 the majesty is there as at 67 to 70 when 5.5 million people died they didn't do anything they did not react now they are using the Fulanese they are using the Fulanese to carry out their job dear friends when I'm saying all these things is for us to understand what is in on ground and uh, try to fight it at uh, on time for you to remove just as I said at the beginning of this broadcast don't hope for anybody to come and help you we will help ourselves you love our leader you claim you love our leader we have come out with a solution that it is what that we will lock down completely that biafra land will be key and lock on every monday not only that there are other things that will be intensifying adding to it if nothing is being done if our need our demand is not given we will make it to be more hot so you have to get ready for this sacrifice that we are about to pay everybody's been is everybody's feeling it nobody but diaspora at home people in diaspora have business they are doing it will affect everybody so let us get ready but what i'm telling you is that if you can no hold the heat you better pack and leave the afra land now because what will happen tomorrow I will, only god will predict only god knows because we are not going to relent we are not going to stop. The debt is there. So before we face the debt, let that debt itself or whatever that is propelling the debt be ready to die with us. Short and simple. Igbo politicians are complicit in this and they will pay dearly. They will pay. Igbo politicians are involved. 
whether they like made them talk or they not talk is up to them some of them will never return to biafra land again from now that i'm telling you is either you see them in they have been their movement is from abuja to lagos very shameful people very shameful moving from another person's land to another person what of your own land what of your own land Ohanes indeed was talking rubbish those ones are useless Harlot is better than Ohanes and Debo Ohanes and Debo Harlot, old Harlot is better than them They are as useless as anything You don't need them These are people, they are there Gerrymandering took place Igbo people were balkanized in many places If not Mazen Namdekal that come out To tell that there is Igbo people In um, Benue State, in Kogi State In Cross Street I'm talking real speaking Igbo people Not cousins or whatever But you have a useless group called themselves Ohanes what I'm for what reason telling you these people shouldn't decide anything you your time has gone the government of the zoo in Biafra land your days and your time has gone you don't have power again or anything or hands or whatever the power belongs to the people and people are making the decision release Mazin Nam the Kano now release Mazin Nam the Kano now this is what we are telling you and if you refuse and we are ready for anything and we are advising everybody to get ready they will come with their zoo whatever we are ready for them i pity idiots that will die you hear what i'm saying i pity idiots who are those idiots you see all this one with guns and they're parading themselves call themselves police and army and whatever i just pity some idiots because you will die foolishly the man you are dying for is somewhere cooling himself, sending you. They are not paying you. Look at Abakiari, you call your boss and whatever. You see how criminal he is. See, if that this thing didn't happen, you won't know. You won't know. And that is how other people are presently. And you are serving them. This is the time all of you in the gender weed should pull out. You must pull out from those things uh, as a security agent allow things to happen so that you will have future tomorrow if not you will die foolishly and when you die god will not forgive you i'm telling you the gospel truth because god hates foolish people don't be foolish don't allow foolishness to destroy you this is radio biafra Outer service to coming to you from the platform of radio biafra london under the leadership of one and only onion do mazin namdekano ohamadike one of biafra land mazin namdekano is the only incorruptible leader of the indigenous people of biafra he is the director of radio biafra and her television and he's the commander of the armies of biafra and the greatest man living in this planet Earth very very important and on today we are still hammering on it re-echoing on it that there must be lockdown goes down in biafra land come 9th of august if our leader mazin namdekano is not released they know how they plan the deal everything Igbo politicians we are involved they are the one who cooked everything then being backed up by the zoological republic government before it was executed before the plan was executed let the same criminal Igbo politicians arrange themselves and release mazin namdekano we are saying it we are hammering it we are saying it now tell them let this say they know how they plan this thing secretly nobody knows the same way let them plan it go and tell their master ginger weed release this man send him back where you caught him allow leave him there if not appear for this land then because you people don't want it to be both to you me the land everybody both the ginger weed that are there everything will burn forget about any court whatever like that is nonsense the court to dare them be doing their court something the time has come because moreover what you are trying to arrange in court is illegal if your court is legal you wouldn't have brought that we are saying it we are hammering on it because we know that most of us are uh, we can't we do our, our we uh, uh, we have a uh, 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 um, um, uh, um, how would i put it we are deaf we have death before you will hear instruction you they have to hammer on it that is what we are trying to let you know this is radio biafra Outer service too and our lines are open right now just a very quick one uh before we round up our lines are very open now plus one eight three two six three seven three 
614-8180925 Our lines are open right now You can call in Just a very quick one uh, For us to round it up right now We won't be able to have a, a summary in house language uh, Because of 102 issue We won't be able to do it today But next time we will Our lines are open right now We are trying to make it clear to the whole world That we are not going to back out Very very important Very clear Igbo politicians, let them get ready. We are ready for them. No election in Anambra State if Mazin Namdekan is not released. There will be ghost town completely every Monday. If our Ambazonian brothers will support us, how much more you Igbo man? Let me ask you this question. If Ambazonia, have you seen the write-up? Our Ambazonian brothers are ready to support us. Then how much more you own Igbo? Let's take this call. I presume it should be our dear brother Desmond. You are live on Radio Biafra as a service too. Straight to the point, brother. It's just a quick one. Yeah, thank you very much. Machin Ekan. Good morning for here from here. My name is Desmond and I'm calling you from Italy, Machin Eke. Yeah, welcome, yeah I, I I want to thank you for your good work, Marcy, this morning. And I want to say to Biafrans. The time is upon us and we must do everything to take our freedom. Look at what is happening um, right now. Everybody across Biafra now must be start, must start getting prepared for the night of August. Um, like I said, that um, we have talked to our people and they've understood us. The Anambra government and their police can yap whatever they yap. Already they are joke and the land is for the people and the people decide what to do the people have decided to stay at home every night of august from the night of august every monday you know till our leader is freed so it is something that must be done anybody that come out that day um is here got up. so it's, it's normal our people must understand this thing we don't care about any this thing in doing that also um our dos has um should i say addressed us yesterday and it was wonderful and they've encouraged us to continue to support ESN because our bushes must be free for our mothers to farm. We don't want to hear Fulani in our bushes. We don't want them in our bushes. We don't want them anywhere around our farms. You know. So for Biafras in Italy, please, IPOB National Body has got all these numbers for you to call, signed by the IPOB National Coordinator for your support. The numbers are plus three nine three five one zero zero four six zero five five. I repeat plus three nine three five one zero zero four six zero five five. It's for IPOB National Coordinator in Italy. The second number is plus three nine three five one two five five one two seven four. I repeat plus three nine three five one two five five one two seven four. It's for IPOB National PRO in Italy. Please call the number and support ESN. We must guide and protect our land. Our land must be free. Those people citing economy, that is why they are talking nonsense. It's our land, it's our economy good in Biafra. All of us are scattered all over the world. Do we have a good economy? Our people are in Lagos, in Abuja, even far away the north, where they are being slaughtered every day. We are here in diaspora, we are here in abroad, suffering, walking around the street, doing nothing. Do we have good economy? Our people must understand that this sacrifice is something that is part of the is part of the obligation that we must pay to have our freedom. So the only thing they have is to release Mazinam the Kano. That is all. Nobody should come to IPOB and say any nonsense. Go to the Nigerian Foreign Terrorists and tell them to release our leader. That is all. There will be no election in Anambra. It is it is written, it is given, except our leader come out to say otherwise. Once you hold him here, there will be no election. The director of state make it very clear yesterday. So our people must be prepared for the day ahead. We are ready for Nigeria. Anyhow, they have been killing us. So what are we? What are we? What are we saying? They have strangulated us economically, and they have been killing us for a very long time. So what is it? Why can't we just stand up and face this monster and have our freedom once and for all? The time is now. Unto the hand, Elohim will commit ourselves. We are ready for anything. Thank you very much. And our people must be courageous. The men on ground must be courageous because they are here for us. We are here for them. 
at the end, victory shall be ours, and we shall enter the kingdom of God, which is Biafra. Thank you very much, Mazi, and God bless you. Thank you very much, my dear brother, and keep it up. Very, very important. This is Radio Biafra House Service 2, coming to you from the platform of Radio Biafra London, under the leadership of the greatest man on earth, Mazi Namdikanu. We are making it very clear for us to understand what is on ground, uh, what is going to happen. Everybody must get ready. If you know you cannot be able to withstand it, you better leave. Just as I was saying, if our Ambazonian brothers will lock down their border, make sure that you did not enter or come out. How much more you Anna Lorogo? How much more you Anna Anna Choke Anna Chizopotagi? Call on the line you are live on Radio Bia France Service to uh tell us your name and where you are calling from, caller. Caller, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Can you hear me, Kola? Are you hearing me? Yeah, I can hear you now, loud and clear. Thank you very much. I say you are speaking to my name, Madam Suro Shunusi. I was the person that called you last time. Oh, San de Zua. You are getting? Love you, dear. Love you, Allah. Love you, dear Allah. You are Arika. Love you. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I'm so... Love you, dear Allah. Allah. Okay, thank you very much. I was the person that called you the last time. I was selling you as your people, uh, uh, so carriers, and uh, I saw the regular, uh, most of them say that I'm not an house man, and I'm here to confirm from you that I am a pure house man. I'm from Katina State, Katina State, uh, uh, the king that right to be precise. And I'm here to tell you the reason why I said what I said. Because we all use the amount of vibrance. We are saying a lot of things. And what I want you to know is the reason why I say this the use of Biafra as a whole are carriers is just for simple reason. The reason is, you see, on 26, your lizard was in the court. And uh, there was a lawyer, Nabara, being a lawyer for the government. He was allowed to answer to the court peacefully, nobody disturbed him. And why uh, losers, lawyers are stopped outside, yet your youth did not say anything. In terms of the BBC, you have BBC House, you have BBC Evil, they are all BBC. But why did they allow the BBC House to answer to the quest, why by they did not allow the BBC Evil to answer to the quest? You see my reasons, yet your youth cannot do anything, rather your losers. Some people among you people are your problems. You are your problems and your people don't want to do anything. They only know how to talk a lot. Maybe your loser keeping me in VS cost of it is against the law. Because then you was in Kuja prison. There was a court, there was a uh, there was a prison broken, but you did not go out. So what are the reason of holding him in VS cost of it? Yet your youth cannot do anything. Yet your people cannot do anything. Your people, you know that this man come out for your good. This man is helping you people to set all of us free. This man is not about evil people or other people or other people. Even when he was as a prison last time, he met our own brothers. He used his own personal money to send for their parents to come for them as a court. Yet those people are not from Biafra. Why is you, why you, your youth cannot know their rights and rights? This is the main reason I say the use of Biafra really is the use of Allah saying that you people are cowards because you can't let yourself. You are like shooting yourself as a leg. You are like shooting yourself as a leg. Because Madam, you Madam, 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 Madam,
Um, okay. So the local chi. I quite abundant day far yenzu ko ike far yenzu a ariwa. Na so ntambe ka akan wannan abun. Ga wani yan sanda kaman baban yan sanda a Nigeria sunan shi DCP Abakiyare. Yenzu an cewa wai shi yana yahu yahu kuma an san kama shi an san ana da abun da ana clear evidence da shi ya hannun sa yana cikin irin wannan abun. Bayan satan kudin da an san ana tasasata yan sanda suna tasasata a cikin Nigeria. Bayan wannan ai mun sai muka gani kuma inda shike pata sunan Nigeria ko wani lokoci ku Hausawa za ku fito ko planin za ku fito wai nyamri ne suke pata sunan Nigeria a kasa waje wai kaza kaza ne muna can muna yirin wannan abin to yanzu ga asalan baban mutum asalan baban mutum a Nigeria sunan shi DCP Abakiyare ko daga Medu Bruno ne ko Yobe ne ban san inda aka yi peshi dai amma wadai wannan garin ne ya fito yanzu an ana da evidence kuma ka san America ba sa kariya America ba sa irin wannan kariyan banza wanda muka rashi an sai an sai sosai wai hannun sa yana ciki shi eje America kawai eje a amsa ana ta boye 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 ana ta yi wani abu amma ba wajen ne ina ina zuwa me yasa na tambaye dai ta me yasa ga arewa yut ku ne arewa yut din menene sunan sa yarima shitima alhaji yarima shitima when the she has she the cancer she ne youth president kwana kin bayan suke fito suke magana we ba su yada ba kuma bara kai abakiyare a america to yanzu kuma ga planin ga me yake Allah wanda muka sani a ayirin abubuwa wanda suke yi me yake Allah sun fito yanzu suna giya duniya a rubuta a Najeriyan jarida a jaridar Najeriya aka rubuta suka cewa suna fada suna giya duniya we mutanin kudu mutanin kudu the southerners sune suke zuga ko suna bada kudi ko suna zuga uh, um, FBI su zo su kama wannan farawo wanda ya sa rigan yan sanda ba kiyare mama ina son tambaye ka dai kariya ne ko gaskiya ne menene zaka fita menene zaka giya duniya akan wannan abun saboda na gan kai wani lokaci kana fito ka fada gaskiya amma bari gani yanzu ko gaskiya ne kake fada ko menene ne tambayan da ina son yi maka yanzu malam Okay, kafin in kira ka gidan kafin in fito lokaci in kira ka gidan radio nan ka yi kira ka ce in je mutum ya isa da na maji ya kira ka ku tattauna na game da abubuwan da ke faru a cikin Nigeria. Kariya ne challenging ne saboda ku ba ku fito ku yi magana da sai fito ku je ku yi magana ku a newspaper na Nigeria inda ku ke biya su amma nan ka san gaskiya muke fada ko waye ne sai mun fada ai. Okay ni ka ga na dauki waya ta na kira ka gaskiya ita ce yasa na fada saboda ita gaskiya dokin karfe ce ko yau in na samu gaskiya zan fada saboda na sara nan da biki ya ma shi da shi Allah zai biya ni wato abaki yari da ka ji ana maganar sa shi ba a ce ba shi farawo bane ba ba a ce bane ba shi da ya saka ba kuma bai sata ba amma su ABI sun ce suna san ganin sa a America ya zo ya fitar da kansa ni abin da ke cin mintiya a kwariya ita ce shi abaki yare da yake shi dan sanda ne kuma an invite din sa na tabbatar da lokacin da yake aiki dan sanda za a yi ce masa wannan mutumin farawo ne ba za ka tabbatar da farawo ba ne ba har yi kai investigation to nan an ce shi a America an ce yayo a yi investigation din sa a yi confirming cewa ko shi ne da hannun sa a ciki ko babu kuma ya ci zuwa malam in ka ga ya ci zuwa da gaskiya ya aika ta abin ndai da ki ndai ndai ya samu ya je ka bi aikata ba amma ni a conclusion din na abin da nake so hujiya maka shine abaki yare yayi abin da ya ce ake yayi sace a kudin da aka ce ya sata saboda inda abaki yare ya san da ya sata kudin nan ba mai zai hana ne zuwa america je fitar da kansa ndai ya san shi sali ni ne ndai ya san da aikata abin da aka fada ba abu ko ne ka ga kaman ina so in fitar ina so in sanar da kai ka san ita Aisha Buhari akwai sunan da hali godo standard akwai ko babu akwai ai har yau ba wanda ya tura ta america amma wannan wanda nake giya maka najeriya ne ba su da hankali amma wannan abin da aka fada an ba su yi hankali ba 
wallahi shi ya kira mana gaba ɗayan lamiya kuma me yasa shi abaki yana ba zai ji kasa amerika ba ya ji kan da kansa saboda shi ya riga ya san cewa shi ya ga fannin ne na kasar Najeriya dai sun yi abubuwa da shi wanda yake inda har ya samu ya ci Amerika wallahi duka shi ya ga ba har Buhari ma ba zai fita ba saboda dun sun ga sun yi abubuwa ni marasa kyau ta tare da shi dun an kashe mutane wanda yake ba su yi komai ba a kasar Najeriya ga daurin gurbin shi ya ga ba mu kasar Najeriya shi ne yasa ta ga ba wanda zai tashi a gwamnati ya ta hanse ya ce a ba ki yare tun da ka san baka yi wannan abin ba ka je ka amsa kiran da FBI suke kiran ka saboda a investigation ake ba a ce ba ya dauka ko kuma ya ko da dauka ba amma tun da yake wannan investigation an kamata a ce a ba ki yare ya hau jirgi ya je America ya sabbata da su cewa shi sai ne bai dauki kudin ba amma ko da yake da abaki ya yi su zuwa wannan ya tabbatar da ku cewa abin da shi bi ai suka fadi akan abaki ya ru christiani ya dauki kudin to ya kawo mini tambaya bari tambaya kamalam bari tambaya ka to ya kuma mai ku suke koyi bayan abu mara kyau kaman shi menene sunan su yarima shitima da youth president dinku da ana kalo wai yara manyan gobe ne mai wasu zoma shugaban kasar Najeriya gobe za su change abu amma su ne suke tashi yanzu suke ce wasu suke ki akan kaman da aka kama abaki yare kaman America suna kariya ya manyan ku kuma suna 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 koyi baya abun nan irin wannan abun bana magana manya wanda yake cikin government saboda mun san manya wanda yake cikin government ai dukan su farawo ne idan aka bude abun nan gindin abakiyara sosai dole ne a ginan su wannan su abu wanda shi yayi da government wannan da government wannan kamar inda kana fada ai mun sani to ya mutane kuma wanda su ba a cikin government ba me yasa su kuma za su fito suna koyi bayan bikin abu bayan bikin su bayan abun da make suna lalata sunan Najeriya ya suke yi haka malam ai duka abubuwan da ke aikatawa a cikin Najeriya din da daurin gindin su din da daurin gindin su dai sun ji sani ga sai kin kima kudi mu da muke mu kalakawa mu da muke ba aikin gwamnati da muke mu da muke ba mu da mutane a gwamnati mu muke shan wahalarsa saboda bai zara an kin kima kudi an kawo musu da dakaddar wallahi wasu cire maganar gaba daya dun wani munafurci da ake aika ta cikin kasar Najeriya kai Ibrahim ji ma tun ya yi wannan da aka sani yara da yake ba su yi komai ba ɗan makaranta an ji ana kama su ana karban kudi a wurin iyayensu ana sake su su shugabannin namu sun mun mun namu ba su yi magana ba akan abakiyar ya su yi magana abin da yake ji a munafurci ne wannan wanda ake aika ta a wannan cikin kasar mu ta Najeriya kuma lokaci da wannan da an kamata a a tsaye da shi saboda in da mu inda mu bar wannan munafurcin ba da ake da ake aikatawa muna daure musu jindi wallahi wannan kasar nan ta mu sai ta yi kuma kuma kumura da mu wannan shuwa da ban nan wanda kake tambaya din sun ga sun karbi daurin jindi din an ga an ba su cin kanci din an ga an musu ta pdp sun ga sun ci kuma kudi shi ne yasa ta ga ba za su fada ba kuma su kansu ma abaki yare ya riga ya aika ta dukkan munafurci tare da su abaki yare a kasar Najeriya akwai mutane wanda yake ya riga ya kashe su ya sa matansu ba su da ba su da maza ya ansu ba su da uba ga daurin gindi shugaban kasar Najeriya da daurin gindi gwamnatin Najeriya shi ne yasa duk abubuwan da abaki yare yake aika ta a Najeriya a daure masu gindi ne shi a gaban nan mallan namu su 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 ne ga sun san cewa munafurcin da abaki yare ya aika ta gaskiya ce amma ba za su fita ba za su fito su fada ba saboda ba zan san fito sun fada wallahi an san da da hukumar Najeriya da waɗansu sojoji za su fita kansu ne kowa nan mallan namu suna suna daren kansu ne saboda ya'ansu saboda ba zan san fito sun fito sun fada abaki yare yana gida kuma yana da yara ne suke cikin police da yan a tai a yau din da aka ce an yi suspend din sa a cikin police ba yi abaki yare da da aiki ba yana da yara wanda yake aika ta wa suke masa abubuwan da bai kamata ba a cikin kasar nan ta mutu Najeriya shi mallan namu ne suka fito suka yi magana wallahi na rantse ma da Allah da yake ban za a zo a kakka ma su ne shi ne yasa ka ga ba yawancin su ba sa magana amma ba wai a ce ba ana magana 
to a cikin nan nan a ko wanda suke magana amma president ba sa fada abubuwa da suke fada tsakani da Allah nake giya ma kenan duka muna furcin da ake a cikin Najeriya duk da wajen shugaban kasar Najeriya yake da yake shi da plata ne ne kuma shi ya riga ya san kushin da yawa kasar Najeriya amma mu samarun mu ne yawanci su ne da fi boko ba jahilar sun yawa a cikin samarun mu to ina za a yi karatu ba mu da wasan irin a uh, abun nan a uh, 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 turanci za ce hypocrisy aikin da ana yi a Nigeria ban san inda ana kira shi a Hausa mutum zai fito yi abu kaman ana yi abu ana kiran aba ke yare wai shi super cup ne ko kasan da ke kaza ne wato wato kuma zambe zambe ci amuki kenan ga zambe ci amuki kenan a a alkali shine ig yanzu duk wannan mutum biyu dukan su biyu ba wanda zai iya shigo um, menene koyen su yanzu alkali ya uh, ai fesha a, a yobe state a gedam yanzu alkali bare iya zuwa a koyen sa bare iya ba saboda so, zai ya je wajen iswab za su cinye shi ko wani irin security wanda ya je yanzu saboda so, mun gani inda iswab suke kama a wajen haka ne kuma akan menene sunan shi wannan barawo yau yau aba ke yare shi ko ko medugre ko bruno ne ko yobe din ne amma ce koyen shi yana kusa tare shi bare iya zuwa wajen amma ga irin aikin da ike kashe mutane a a a ima state inda ya yi wannan aiki ana tattafa mushi hannu irin wannan abun ne shine abun da ba ina ina kuma ko dai tunda kai kai wani maza ne zaka iya fito kai magana ai adan adan yin magana da duniya su ci irin wannan hypocrisy ne shine nuna magana mai isa kuma arwa za su gense kuma suna koye bayan sa gashi ana ta taba mushi hannan ce yi kaza yi kaza ya kama menene sunan shi Evans lokacin da aka kama wannan su kidnapper gashi kuma an ce yana kaza 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 ne bayan wannan aiki gashi koyen su bayan su iya zuwa koyen su su zo na yanzu ko kwana daya bayan su iya ba wenirin ne me yasa arewa yut me yasa kundan arewa ne bara ku bude i bude baki ku yi irin wannan magana ku ce yaya za mu je muna ta yi wani a ba wani gare ne bayan da gare mu ba lafiya mu dawo dare mu dawo mu jara gare mu mu jara koyen mu da wannan yan sanda da komi da komi in ba sata ba ne in ba aikin shedan ne muna so mu je mu yi a wajen me yasa ce koyen alkali usman baba alkali a ce koyin sa shi da kansa bare iya bare a buce je wajen amma gashi zai tura su yan sanda a imo state ko ina ne shi aba karin ya dena yana ta yawo yana flexing tana cin kudin sa da komai da komai amma koyin sa shi bare iya zuwa ba shi ne ina tambaye ka ya ku za ku bari irin wannan abun bara ku fito ku yi magana amma na gode na gode na gode maka da tun da ke mazane ka fito ka yi magana yo da kwanake ina tambaye ka ya wannan sun ku ba su fito ba su ce irin wannan abun ba kyau idan muna so idan ku dai kuna so ku jara Najeriya a a mai sa bara su fito su ce ga inda za a yi an ce a turanci charity begins at home a mu fara jara gare ku mu mala ai shine kwanake da nake haka na giya ma cewa mu matasan ayi ba inda mu hankali ba ita wannan kasan nan ta mu sai ta yi kullun kullun kuwara da mu da kake cewa hypocrisy exactly abin da ake kira da hausa kenan zambe cikin aminci to in ba zai zambe cikin aminci ita ce ake mana ita wannan kasan nan ta mu amma kuma in Allah ya da yanzu mun riga mun zauna mun yi tunani Allah ya tumike mu mun riga mun gane daga inda matsalan mu yake kuma yanzu mun riga mun ta mun tashi za mu yaki su na sabbatar da kwanaki ka ga wani bidiyo da aka yi na lizin da muka ba da kwana 30 nan da kwana kadan yanzu kwana 30 din nan zai cika kuma in Allah ya yadda da wani din shegiya da yake a wannan kasan nan ta mu ta arewa da yake kira mana ruwa wallahi 
Allah ɗauke mun na rantse ma da la ilaha illa Allah Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wa sallam wallahi sai mun yi kare jini 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 da su wallahi mun yi kare jini 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 da su yanzu mun yi ga mun tafi sai mun yi kuma Allah ya yadda Allah zai taimake mu kuma zamu fitar da kanmu wallahi zamu fitar da kanmu malam Nigeria Sobo da dauri jinde su fulani su ne suke mana abin da suke mana Sobo da wasu ka kama wani dauri su kama wani bukulata ne mutum da yake ya aikata abin da ya aikata da kwana kadan suke zai da wasu ma tura shi da kurkuku shi ne ya samu da zamu yadda da su ba da shugaban ɗan sandan da dauri jinde su fulani suke aikata abin da suke aikata mana a ƙasa kai in ka ga ma shugaban ƙasa na Najeriya wato Buhari kenan ya kama boko haram guda nawa ya kama su amma sakin su aka yi boko haram da ya kamata a karkashe su amma an sake su an kesa kasar waje za su je su yi karatu amma mutanen da suka kashe musu mutane ne aka musu ba abin da aka musu wanda yake sun kashe musu uba sun kashe musu ya sun kashe musu iyaye ba a ba su komai ba amma boko haram an daure musu jinde an samu mini su cikin military an samu mini su cikin ɗan sanda ya kuma kake tuna mun cewa mu za mu yi aiki da ɗan sanda da izinin labarin ɗan sanda da za mu yi aiki da shi ne masu kasan mu da muke da kasan mu za mu aikata duk aka abin da muke so mu aikata mun dai kwana 30 din nan ya cika til ba abin da ya faru din ɗan sanda mu da muka samu daurin jinde su ake aikata abin da ake aikatawa kaga gidansa kaga iyalansa kaga ayansa kaga iyalansa udansa wallahi gaba ɗaya sai mun kai su lafiya ตอนนั้นเบนกาเบนกาตึนเดกาเชวาเวคูเนซาคูเยเดคังคูบาราคูเยเดเดยันซันดาโตยันซูคุนาเดกาซึนวันนั้นมุตานิซุนาเดมา
Makono sulu gani mti musulu sike ero musingi musulu sike si ya musi makamu mimi sante ndo la mpaulu sote musulu sike jua na bakana na mpaulu ba muri ya musa abuza miche mala miche gia ma muda Allah miche bugera ba muda bugera ba kuwa ba ba izimu la si munda ba yesu wallahi Allah miche mu tu ame miche chini kuma Allah zetu miche mu tu mala tunde haka ni kana gani ah kama inde kapa dai a government ne ike kwaye ike kwaye bayan su ike ba su su ci gaba da abun abubuwan da suke yi kana gani kaman su gwamnati din bara su fito su ce we ku terrorists yanzu kaman inda aka yi IPOB saboda mu ba ma so funani su shigo a bangalan mu planin ne muke yake a cikin koye inda suke lallanta gonan mutane suke cin mata a banza da karfi suke kashe mutane shine muke tashi mun ce a bara mu ishuru kowa irin wannan abun yake faru mu fito mu kore su muke samu ESN da wannan su amma yanzu an ce we mu an aka prescribe din mu a turinci an ce we mu terrorist ne kana gani kaman su governmenting bara su ce we ku terrorist ko kuna da wani dai abun da akoyen da za ku yi dai ko inda za juwa abun ko doka a court ne ko menene ne malam shine yasa ka ga aka ce musu duk wani shugaban kasa ko kuma duk wani dan sanda ko kuma sarki ko kuma hakimi da zai tayi ya tsaya cewa ba za mu aikata abu ne ba mu aikata wa ba gidan sa sai an kone shi ya an sa sai an ke su lashira makansa da iyalan sa duka sai sun tafi lafira mu yanzu kuma ba dori muke wani terrorist ba saboda duka gwamnatin Najeriya ita ce shugaban terrorist saboda duka bindigoji da aka shigo da su da makaman da aka shigo da su da cikin kasar Najeriya ba ta goda aka shigo da su ba wato ba mu da inauguration ba mu da kosum abuba kenan ko kwa da daurin gindin shugaban kasar aka shigo da ita da daurin gindin gwamnatin Najeriya da daurin gindin inauguration da daurin kai in ji amma gaskiya in ka shiga cikin inauguration dole ne ka samu terrorist in ka shiga cikin gwamnatin Najeriya su shi a gaba su sanatocin namu su gwamnatin namu su ne suke su ne suka daure musu gindi kuma mun kan mu yanzu ga wani gaba da mu taru mu zama terrorist din wallahi Allah da yake nan kuma mu bama tsere ko me ko da tare za ki ramu ko ko da tare za ki ramu shine yasa aka fito daga farko aka fada aka ce an bada kwana 30 in da abu ne suke aiki ta an ba su bari ba wallahi Allah da yake nan kasan mu sai ta kuma kuma ku da rabu kuma yanzu mun ga mun ga ne abu sun ki su tsaya kuma mu kan mu zamu tayi sai mu yake su da kome da kome da muke da su zamu yake su kuma bi izinilla in Allah ya yarda wallahi sai mun ga bayan su malam ตัวมันเป็นตัวมันมันมันมันมันมันมันมันมันมันมันมันมันมันมันมันมันมันมันมันมันมันมันมันมันมันมันมันมันมันมันมันมันมันมันมันมันมันมันมันมันมันมันม
la tuvente mbika kude kiki muta nindi ya para kude kiki ya chiki redi ya din mwesa kukun kiku yima gana gamada abu du gamada mana perchenda aki eka ta wa chiki mkudu abuja kasa ite ite kote abuja watu mtumu ndi aki wa shara watu nandi kalu na kebote chwa mtumu kibini amu arana mwen da aka je wa ala shara a soro midi ya tewa ambole senshiga bbc hausa ta shiga chiki mkoti la barama ambole shima shiga kutu ni aka mwesa ba abari ujo huya shiga kutu ba katari shi mwesa ba abari shi ya eke besuna bbc ibo senshiga chiki kutu wa kume na kume kuka chiga mada shi eh aka wana magana nariga loko ching nina gini aa kwana ng aa shirinde takwas niku boko ene na yi magana wana ng abung a radio data na yi magana nta malam na gani loko ching mewa baka baka saura remu bani malam na yi magana ee mewesa tu shukuma shukuma gani mati ni yaku ya tu gogo na enku wende fiki pesa enku de shuma ni mwati malam pasen loko ching baya hamyuta yenzi bae chika bade magana nta malam na gani mewa gobe idan kana da loko cika dawo mu cika bade magana saboda na ci dadi kiryan da ka kirya ai ba irin ma zaka man kai a arewa wallahi na baka wannan respect lokaci baya hanuna ina so in gama wannan broadcast yanzu malam ka yi hakuri to na na gode ma kuma Allah ya da zan kuma dama gobe ko kuma jibi amma in lokacin na samu lokaci zan kira kan Allah ya yadda na gode kuma Allah ya taimake mu gaba daya na gode maka sosai na gode na gode na gode Amen, amen. This is Radio Biafra House Service to coming to you from the platform of Radio Biafra London under the leadership of one and only Onion Do Mazi Namdikano Ahmadike, one of Biafra Land. Mazi Namdikano is the only incorruptible leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. He is the director of Radio Biafra and her television, and he is the commander of the armies of Biafra, and he is the greatest man living on this planet Earth. This broadcast is coming to you from me, a servant of the Mosa, a servant of the indigenous people of Biafra, and a proud disciple of our leader in the person of Mwachi. I say thank you very much for being part of this program. Time is not on my side. I have to sign out right now, and uh, we will continue next time. For other callers, please, I'm really sorry. Does uh, um, um, an awesome man who all, who has the mind to call in to 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 have a debate? So that's why I give him that time. But next time, I will still have time for other people. Please uh, try to bear with me as I bring this program to an end. Sorry for other calls. I see your call, but I won't be able to take it because time is not on my side. And on that note, on that note, I would like us to round up our prayer with a word, our program with a word of prayer. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We glorify your name. We thank you, Abba Father, for being who you are over us, O Lord, for protecting and guiding us. Father, we thank you for being God for us. Father, we thank you for everything. We thank you for our leader Mazin Namdekan. We thank you for ESN. We thank you for Biafra all over the world. And we thank you for the land of Biafra. Blessed be your holy name, Abba Father. Father, this we pray and believe that you will continue to answer our prayer as we make this prayer in the mighty name of your beloved son, Yeshua Hamashiach. And I leave you with this word. And the Bible said, Come, let's reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are scarlet, they will be as white as snow. They are, they, they are as red as crimson. I will make it. They will be like wool. Isaiah 1 verse 18. Shalom.